I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Uh, wax his hair. Tramp Lactus. Herman. How was everybody's week? It was good. It was good. What'd you do? What'd you do? Anything good? Um, Shit, you probably feel crazy not being on the road. I was in AC. Atlantic City? Yeah, we had shows in AC. Shouts to AC, but yo, let's just get into I it. I got love for Atlantic City. I've learned to love Atlantic City. Why? What happened? I mean, I'm always there for cheerleading competitions. So oh, I yeah. Something. You're you know super I mean? dad now, huh? Cheer dad, baby. I was in Orlando all last week. Another city I've grown to love. Even though I've always liked Orlando because that's where my aunt is from. And, uh, you know, I didn't get to see her this week. But it's like, I like Orlando's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, Orlando's fire. You go down there. You went to Universal Studios. They got a licking in Orlando. A couple of them. Ate at both of them. Mm-hmm. You know, got a nice little resort. I like to stay out when we down there. You had a good time, man. So you're good AC, to go. AC yeah. ain't that good. You remember what happened with me in AC? What happened in AC? Come on, man. You forgot. I did. What happened? Remember I was throwing up like crazy. I ate that well, half well done oh, steak. I thought you were showing off. No, it wasn't. Showing off a girl. I had a half well done. Ordering that, shit yeah, like ordering caviar. Steak that, sushi. No, it wasn't. He was like, yo, these days, like, y'all want a <laughs> steak. I want filet mignon. How you want it? I want it rare. Like, no, what? yeah, I did the bullshit because somebody <laughs> at the table telling me, oh, you eat your steaks well done. You should have it um, rare. Ready. Yeah, rare. He was like, rare. So I'm eating this steak and it tastes like, <laughs> literally tastes like socks. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm eating socks. And next thing I know, I'm like, I gotta throw up. I run all the way to the bathroom. He tell people that I'm playing around. Listen, trying to flirt. Because he told me he was sick, right? So I already told our girl, I said, let me tell you something. Wax got this move. He like to do. <laughs> he like to play like he's sick. He, he, gonna, he gonna want somebody to take care of y'all. <laughs> Ignore him. Don't pay him no attention. He gonna, he gonna really over this. Especially if y'all don't pay him no attention, he gonna uh, overdo yeah. it. <laughs> so, so <laughs> he's sick. First he says he's sick. They don't ignore him. They ignore him. They're like, oh shit, he right. We driving on the way back. He's like, yo, pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over. So he jumps out the car. I told the girl, I said, see? This guy, he's really throwing up, I'm but I'm like, I'm like, see, y'all ain't paying him no attention, so he's really losing it right now. He's trying to go yeah. all out. <laughs> then the girls want to help me enough. I'm like, yeah, Stop. give me some water. Stop. Nobody want to help me for shit. What is wrong with y'all girls? All y'all girls? Nobody got sympathy at all? This guy, one of his things. <laughs> when did you find out he was doing it? Next day he told me. I'm like, yo, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, these girls are pieces of shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh. All right, what you want to get into, Schultz? Yo, it's Musk or, or Amber Heard, bro? Elon Musk, man. Let's start there. Elon Musk bought Twitter. $44 billion. I'm going to be honest with you. I see this has people in uh, uh, uproar. People are outraged. They're up in arms. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the reason I don't give a fuck is because okay. it's a billionaire billionaireing. Yes. Yeah. What am I supposed to think about this? They act like this is the end of the world. Like, what is going... What am I missing? Am I missing something? No. He, he can help they're, they're just outrage. upset because they're going to be upset. That's just what they do. And they yeah. need outrage shit so they can get tweets, etc. I mean, like, of course, fucking Sean King found a way to turn it into white supremacy. Man. Um, Donald Trump Jr. said the funniest say, shit this morning, man. Say. I guess they I guess they had a rumor that Sean King had deleted his Twitter. He said worth forty four billion. He said it's worth the forty billion. <laughs> now this is worth forty four billion dollars. <laughs> what I wanna know man, is why that shit was funny, man. Why does Sean King um why does Sean King not want an African American owned business? <laughs> like, like why would he be I saw so people against saying that? that too? What did I mean? They was like Elon Musk is really black. No, he's an African American. Yeah. How? How has this happened? He's from Africa. And we- now he's an American. Oh, okay. Let you know what I mean? African American. Let me rewatch. I mean, to me, you're see. black. You're a you're a black, black American. American. I'm a white American. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, what I thought it was. Yeah, like, like I don't like from Africa. Oh yeah, yeah. He was Elon. Yeah, Wolverine but it's just South like a Africa. weird term. Yeah, like, I'm not European American. American. Like yeah, yeah. yeah like you're you you're you're an American. I'm an American. You're black. I'm white. Yeah. Period. Elon was raised in South Africa, right? Am I tripping? He's from South Africa. That's a real African American. Not like you fake asses. I'm not African American. I'm Black American. You're just you're just American, bro. You're I'm American, black. dude. Black. Don't let by, don't let anybody create a way, caveat for your ass. You're also black, but you're American. Black. Nobody asks what color you are in a country. They just go, what where where where, where are you from? from? What are you? Yeah. You're American, bro. Where? It's like, it's like my Caribbean. whole life it's is like Caribbean. Where, where, That's what I'm saying. But it's like Caribbeans who Caribbeans be like, I'm Caribbean. I'm not black. I'm not. I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. I'm Haitian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, they don't cool. go, I'm, I'm black Jamaican. But I'm really black. <laughs> Yo, that, well, isn't that stupid to say? I'm black. Say again? 
I'm black though. So yeah, but we what, don't what do that. I say like for example, like if I was born and raised in like Elon Musk is born and raised in South Africa, he go he doesn't go. I'm white South African. <laughs> He's white. Like, we know, yeah. motherfucker. No, we saying. can see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. why you got to say what color you are? We know. I mean, that's America. I'm, though. America. I'm just using my description. But that's because America created this but, caste. System. Exactly. That's like the America big racism that. that like we all get on board with. It's just stupid. Yeah. America yeah. created this caste system. And that's why we refer to ourselves as black, white, whatever. But Sean King said at its root, Elon Musk wanting to purchase Twitter is not about left versus right. It's about white power. The man was raised in apartheid by a white nationalist. He's upset that Twitter won't allow white nationalists to target, harass people. That's his definition of free speech. I, 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 how I do you know that, Sean King? Okay. Yeah. How do you know that that's his definition of free speech? Did that, you that's ask? That's what him I want to know. Yeah. That, by the way, that's what I want to know. What is free speech to Elon Musk? Sean King just be saying shit with his cracker ass. <laughs> yeah. Sean King Yo, is, is white. Man, you so stupid. Yo, what, Sean, dude? Sean King white? Sean King? No. Yes, Sean. he's white. No, I think he's black, bro. If you even gotta say you think. <laughs> I think he's African. You know, you know I think he's African. We all African, bro. I'm thinking Sean King. <laughs> we all African if you go far back enough. We all African. But that's a honky, bro. Oh, Tell me that's not a honky. Now, his forehead say he black. Stop disrespecting. He... <laughs> I said what? His forehead say he black, right? Like the haircut, like something about the forehead make him Oh, black. yeah, he would like to. We got to get Sean like King on bread. Yes. 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 Shut up. Yeah. I would love yeah, it. I know you would. I would love. We need more white people on this oh, podcast. He is black. We need. We need more white voices <laughs> on the Brilliant Idiots podcast. We're outnumbered. No, I would love that. If Sean King is willing to come on, that would be a dream come fucking true. I think Sean might come on. Oh Sean, my man. god, dude! I will tell you this, Sean. Regardless, what do of- I come dressed up as? Because <laughs> oh, I'm going all Trump. in. Just a fucking bucket of mayonnaise? Do I just walk in there as Hellman's? You refer to me as Hellman's today, Sean. Tell me why, listen, uh, tell me why Sean King is so funny to comedians. So I what? Th- tell me why he's so funny to comedians. Because he's pretending to be black. <laughs> it's, a a, real thing? it's CB4. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right? It's just, it's, it's, it's a farce. <laughs> it's a farce. And he really, you know, he oh, exposes man. something fucked up about America. Yeah. And if we're going to be serious about it, the serious thing is he exposed something fucked up about America is that like, you know, racism is so real and messed up that even a guy who's pretending to be black and fighting for black people's rights, like black people are still like, well, fucking finally, somebody say some shit about what's <laughs> happening to us. Like, and and then you then we look past the fact that he's clearly a white guy. But I, I tell you this, I, white the, people should do it too. Then. The crazy part is Sean King gets a lot of slander. Meaning that I don't know who his cheerleaders are, if that makes sense, if I'm saying that Audience. correctly. Like, don't. you don't know who his supporters, supporters are. Supporters are. Like, and by the way, he 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 shows up, you know, he, he he raises money, he brings awareness to things, but it seems like he's always getting slander. Yeah. Like, always, from everybody. Not just the yeah. right, the people on the left, too. Like, it's like they really be coming for Sean King. And I, I just enjoy the nicknames. I think the nicknames. What's your favorite? Talcum X. Talcum X. I love Talcum X. Talcum X is fire. So That's we, we rattled off like racism, 12, though. dude. It was, <laughs> we had we had 12 or 15 or something like that when we did one of those pieces. Oh, was he man. like a leader of the Black Lives Matter or something? I don't, I don't know this guy. Nah, they call him a Black Lives Matter activist, but let's stay on course. Salute to Sean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shouts to Sean King. You're the fucking GOAT, dude. Why? Is Yo, this? Sean, you're the motherfucking GOAT. <laughs> yeah. You are the GOAT. He's black. His forehead. <laughs> Do you think that he's black for real? His forehead, that one, the picture with the glasses. Yes, yes, he's black. What he says mean, it he all the time. said he's black. What, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> Taylor just asked, has Sean King ever said he's black? <laughs> the question is, has he ever said he's white? No, he's black. He, we say that he's white. White people, we claim. Y'all claim him? Yeah, he's ours. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's ours. He is ours. That is ours right there. That's our guy. And nobody's going to slander oh, him anymore. Oh, I'm man. sick and tired of people slandering Sean King. That's a good white man right there. Nah. Look at it. Look how he holds his honky hands. Oh. Do you see that right there? Do you see that? <laughs> That's, what is this right here? Like, what is he even holding? Cracker ass cracker? Oh, man. <laughs> Sean Look at the peace crazy. sign right there. You got to give the peace. One day Sean going to come with some jokes, man. Somebody got to write Sean some jokes, Yeah, man. Yeah, really. Write him some jokes. That, that would be dope, though, to do a roast to Sean King. Because then you can celebrate all of the good that he's done. Yeah. But then make fun of just yeah. him. I, I mean, know, yeah, man. every day that Twitter is the roast of Sean King. It is, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. God damn, by the way, it is. I but know. tell me, explain to me, seriously. Yeah. Yes. 
Why are people in an uproar about Elon Musk buying Twitter? Just well, fool me. They, I they, don't know. They just don't know. Uh, the people are just upset because the outrage fuels the internet and it and it fuels their websites and it fuels their articles and it fuels their clicks, yeah. et cetera. So I think that's where that's where they're doing that. But the interesting thing about him buying social media yeah. and why it's worth forty four billion is like if you're a billionaire, you need a news outlet to protect you, right? Like uh, Jeff Bezos is the Washington Post. He doesn't have that because he's a big fan of the articles they produce. He has that because he needs something to run interference and protect him. Bad investment, though. It, it, it depends. If if you care about it profiting, maybe it's a bad investment. Mm-hmm. But if you care about it putting out propaganda to protect you and make yeah, you control. look like a good person mm-hmm. and control narratives, yeah. then it's a brilliant investment. But you could do that with social media. Like, what newspapers do oh, we really trust nowadays? Oh, oh, Charlemagne, I'm sorry. Say that one more time. You could do you that, could with, do that what? with social media. Oh, you can do what? But even, even no, 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 no. You, you can do that with social media. So. The new way a billionaire, if you're a smart billionaire, you won't buy a newspaper, you buy... Social media. Social media, yeah, that's why I buy Twitter. Exactly, you're right. Listen, but why, though? And the reason I say why, you're Elon Musk, you already got 83 million followers. I'll tell you why. And you can just, you can pay for campaigns. I'll tell you why. Because he needs to be able to control his narrative, and he can't truly do that if he's being throttled on Twitter. Yep. So if Twitter and the board start going, whoa, this guy has too much power, and he's saying that the vaccines uh, don't work, or he's criticizing the uh, COVID... They could shut down yeah. his account. They could block him. He doesn't have the true no, control of his narrative. Like Jeff Bezos goes, yo, write a write an article that says I'm the shit and I'm way better than Elon and Elon's dangerous. He can criticize his adversaries like he's been doing with Bill Gates and all these other people mm-hmm. himself and nobody can stop him, right? Now, I don't think this is all altruism. I, I, think, I think Elon's a really good guy and he's amazing. He's trying to solve problems that are going to help humanity. But I also think that there's a form of control so he can continue to solve problems as he see fits and nobody can interfere. It's genius. It is- I don't think you're wrong at all, but when you're Elon Musk and you're the richest man in the world, people are always going to pay attention to you. It's just like Donald Trump, right? They take Donald Trump off Twitter, mm-hmm. but they said now his content goes even more viral. No, it doesn't go more viral. He doesn't affect the news the way he did. No, like- already. He don't affect the news the way he did because he's not president no more. But there was an article that came out that said his supporters take what he says mm-hmm. and spread it more on Twitter and everything else now oh. because I, he's not on. I think I, 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 I ain't heard nothing I, else from him since he was president. I heard nothing. Before. Yeah, he's not one president. thing. They don't, don't take, they don't take him thing. It's, But by the way, him be, him being president is the equivalent of somebody like Elon Musk being that rich because that was his source of power. That was his source of script. You got to pay attention to the president. People say shit like, oh, you know, you got to mute Donald Trump. He's the fucking president. <laughs> you you, yeah. you could you couldn't ignore him. Yeah. It's the same thing with Elon. Elon can make a statement anywhere, and if it's I don't know, fire enough, it'll go. It'll spread. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't think, think you need Twitter for You that. don't need it, but it uh, it establishes more control and it stops other entities from being able to silence you. Yeah. And if you are that rich and you're doing things that are that impactful globally, you need to create some protection and some barriers. Yeah. You just need to. It is what it is. It's yeah, like I don't know if you can. I mean, I get what you're saying. I just don't know if that's possible in 2022. I think it is when you own the platform. But yeah. what about all other platforms? Well, motherfuckers. And Twitter, not even a top 15 social media app. And it's not about whether it's top 15 or not. It has impact. It has impact because it yeah. is where the news is. Like, that's where I get my news. And that's where Washington Post posts the news. That's where the Times posts the news. That's where everybody posts the news. So if you look at where news comes out, right, and where things begin to trend, right, and I'm not talking about stupid dance moves. I'm talking about, like, is news. a war happening? Yeah, Actual yeah, yeah. news. Yeah, 70% of all breaking news is on Twitter. Exactly. So don't buy the New York Times. Buy the place the New York Times Breaks the news, which is on Twitter. No one goes to the New York Times website. They go to Twitter. They see an article. Then they go to the New York Times website. Yeah. So he's like, fuck it. I'll just own that thing. And I don't even need to control the news that comes out. I'll just be able to say whatever I want. And because I own it, motherfuckers talk about me. We were listening to that Jack Dorsey guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who owned it before. Yeah. Why, why are we listening to him? Why do we care what he says? Because he's rich and he owns Twitter. Because he owns Twitter. Well, now this guy so We gave Twitter. a fuck about Tom and Tom never even spoke. We don't even know if Tom was a real person. I don't. <laughs> Shouts Y'all to remember Tom, Tom from MySpace? Shouts to Tom. Uh, That's what I'm saying. What about Siri? Huh? Siri. Look what happened. What happened with Cereal? <laughs> <laughs> I used to like that podcast. That shit was great. Cereal was amazing. Cereal was fire. <laughs> Anyway, so that's why I think he's doing it. I think it's a brilliant fucking move. And, and I mean, it's not not brilliant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. shit, if you can buy Twitter, buy Twitter. But I just don't understand why everybody's acting like this is going to be the end of the fucking world because I don't even uh, Elon see. Musk is not even able to control Twitter. Like, you just oh. cannot. There's nobody that can control Twitter. Yeah, you can police it. You can delete accounts. You can put people in Twitter jail. But you can't control that well, shit. I like, I like one thing that he's trying to do is he's trying to verify every person. 
Yes, so remove so make the sure bots. they're humans. Yes, I and I think that. that's great because it's like all these bots are what create these stories and yes. create all this yeah, outrage. Yeah, it's what has stuff. fucking Russia and all these other con- uh, countries trying to Yo, interfere with not yes. only our elections but our like just discourse in general. Like you're making it look, you're putting gas on a yes. plane when it's like if you can track every single Twitter account back to one person, yes, and verify them. You saw the shit with Amber Heard. I mean, I, I knew this before Amber Heard just because what people, people have actually done this to me, but. Uh, all of this, the stuff that was that was going out negative about Johnny Depp, it was like eleven percent of that shit was like eleven percent of the pro Amber Heard tweets were bots. So they were basically look, look, look that up, Taylor. So they were basically paying for yes, their yep. campaign anti Johnny Depp shit. You can do that on Twitter. You can do that on Twitter and YouTube for sure. Yeah, I don't I, know about it. And yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but on Twitter and YouTube, you can do it for sure. Put Amber Heard eleven percent. Yeah, that's terrible. Like these are real campaigns, and the funny part is, I don't know why people just don't do the opposite. You got to go to uh, all, Taylor. I don't know why people just don't do the opposite. Uh, yeah, yeah. Scroll, yeah, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. No, right, majority, right there. Majority of fake Twitter accounts support Amber Heard, not Johnny Depp, new research. Show. Yeah, of course. So, w- by the way, this is it's a so very they're, smart they're, thing to do until you get found out. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Like, this chick stays lying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this chick is a liar, bro. Like, literally a liar, bro. Yeah, and Lord. nobody cares. In it, but now I feel like now people are starting to turn on her ass. There's a thing where she even says she's they're all recording everything. They says she goes, no one's gonna believe you. You're a man. It's That's true, the truth. So. Son is crazy. And, you know, bro. It's, just, it's just like Black China in um the Rob Kardashian case when Black China like it was like yo uh I was I was just playing when I pulled the gun on Rob. Yo, yo, I was just on. playing when I strangled him with a that, man. You're, you're you remember with Amber Heard? Amber Heard said the same shit. She goes, I didn't punch you. I hit you. Yo, yo, he's like, what are you talking about? Like, and that, and that, and that went over the, everybody's head. No, 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 no. People are starting to realize that she's a witch. <laughs> but what are they going to do yeah, about it? Do? Men do. can't do that is what I'm saying. And listen, we all know that double standards exist, but that is the reason why there's so much chaos. Where there's a lack of consistency, yep. there will be chaos. Yeah. We need consistency all across the board. And where there's no accountability for these bullshit accusations. It's that's like, what yo, I'm saying. She need to be punished for this shit. Yep. And there's nothing. Not that's what I mean when I say, yeah. like, that's what I mean when I say, you know, I don't know what it means for people not to agree. Also, a woman. to clarify, he's not perfect either. Like, the dude no, was no, a drug addict. He's, he he's an alcoholic. Like, he's probably done foul shit. Like, it's fair to say they were both abusive to each other. They were both abusive to each other. So he's not, he, let's not uh, act sure like he's not. some innocent motherfucker. But, like, she's acting like she's completely innocent. She put crazy lies on this dude, was super foul to him, and destroyed his fucking career. Like, she didn't have no career. This mm-hmm. motherfucker was one of the biggest superstars yeah, in right. history. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. done so. Damn, are we yeah. sure Johnny Depp not African? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the way he getting done by this white woman? Have we checked out his goddamn genealogy? You know Double what I mean? Yeah. But that is the truth, though. It's just like, yo, that shit is crazy. That that case right there, the Black China case. The funny thing about the Black China case is the Kardashians accusing her of being abusive. Rob told the story about how she pulled a gun on him. She choked him with a cord. And she says, <laughs> I was just doing it in fun. Can you imagine, just imagine any man, black, white, Puerto mm. Rican, Asian, any man saying that about a woman. Oh, I just pulled the gun on her for fun. What? Oh, I just choked out with a, uh, a, a, a phone cord for fun. You know what's so crazy? Even as you tell me that she said that, I'm like, well, maybe she was goofing around. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, I, I, yo, isn't that mind, crazy? We give I had that women the benefit of the doubt. We always yes. give them the and benefit of the doubt. men don't get no benefit it's of like the doubt. Amber Heard shit in Johnny Depp's bed. I was like, yo, maybe he's into that. Yeah. Amber Heard shit in Johnny Depp's bed? Or, or, you didn't or notice? No. Oh. He showed up late to her fucking birthday party. She took a fat shit in his bed. I fuck bed. with that. I fuck with that. I right, fuck though? With that. I fuck with that. Don't be late don't to my birthday party, shit. yo. Nah, don't do that. Don't, you can't be late to my birthday party. You my husband. I hate you. Shit in your fucking bed. I'm shitting in our bed. Did you shit the bed? Say what? By not showing up, I'm going to shit the bed. For real, for real. I respect it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I respect that shit, exactly. man. Literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You don't respect yeah, that? Son, so I, I, I love your it. Wife I love show up to your I'm birthday not party. Lie. What do you do? <laughs> Say what? Your wife don't show up to your birthday party. What do you do? Shit. Exactly. In the bed. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, enjoy myself. <laughs> oh, you're not coming back? Change your plans, fellas. <laughs> but you, you got to put it in the bed, like under, or put in the pillowcase in there and never yeah, find it. Yeah, you're Mr. Hide the Shit. You she didn't even hide, hide the shit. Ah, you can't do that because they're going to find it. It's not no fun if they find nah, it. Nah, she's a crazy girl. That girl's absolutely, she's out of her mind. 
you know what's so wild about that though? They I've, I've only seen bits and pieces, um, but it seems like they both were very abusive to each other. How long was this going on? I don't know, but I don't know, bro. But you know what it is. And, 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 and when you hear all of the shit that they like did to each other, involved. shitting in the bed, putting out cigarettes on each other. Yeah. yeah. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? <laughs> what made them say enough drugs, already? Drugs when away. they took away Pirates of the Caribbean. Really? I think if his career is never affected, they're still in this <laughs> fucked up relationship See, right now. Went too ass. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, you, why you have to tell people, yo? Why you have to tell people? Like, we was having fun. Yeah. I chopped my finger you off, or you up. chopped it off. It oh. is what it is. He lost oh. a piece of his finger. I saw that. That I saw. Yeah. But I couldn't tell whether she chopped it off or he did. There's rumors from everybody. You don't know with either of these motherfuckers. They both lying their asses off. But still, it's like... How the fuck you just chop a piece of your finger off? Apparently, bro? she threw a bottle at him, which chopped it off. Or maybe he did it. We, they don't even know. The point is, they're both lunatics. Yeah, both yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Um, it's just crazy to see, like, lies on this level. Like, this girl is... This girl's Yo. next level. She wrote an op-ed about him. That's all That's the crazy... Like, it's not like... It's not like he was out here starting it. She wrote the op-ed. She said all these crazy things. You know why? Because she knows that whoever is the first person with the narrative usually wins. Well, and that's just the truth and that's of the true. It, Until, she, did. she destroyed his career. It's over. It, but, and, and now Johnny got all of this other stuff to go back against Amber. This is what I wish would happen. I wish that nobody would make any, would jump to any conclusions until all of this stuff really plays out in court. Mm. Because if they would have just waited and let Johnny Depp and Amber Heard play out in court, then they can make a real rational decision mm. on what to do with this person's career. Now, do you put things on hold? Cool. But just to like, fuck them, get rid of this, get rid of that, cancel this, cancel that. Yeah. That's not That's not what's up, man. Mm. Let shit play out in court. I feel the same way about the Tory and Megan thing. The sad thing about the Tory and Megan situation is that it's playing out in the court of public opinion. First, yeah. Yo, and, and, and everybody is running with what they hear people say on social it's media. It's really what they feel. Yo, here, here's the thing about this shit. And, and Megan needs to learn this. It's very important. You lie once, everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. lie. Especially in court. You lie once. once. I know somebody who got off a of murder for that. 100%. Because he said that in, in the paperwork it said he smacked them, but um, he really punched them. Sure. When other paperwork say so you punch it, he got off just like that. I'm yeah, up. when you when you, you lie one that yeah. man right there, you lie once. Al is lying. No, Al was in jail in Sweden, and the guy said that he pun that Al punched him like four. six, fourteen times, and it was and he, thirteen. No, son, <laughs> it, it could have been that. It no, been no, just no, no, no. I remember, I remember, and when I was on the stand. And I was like, yeah, man, I wish I could have seen that. Yo, That's we need to get the video. Really yeah, 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 son, yeah, son, it hit me. Video. It hit me on the stand. He said, I said, how many times? He goes, he goes, hold on, you represented Alex? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, you are you're a lawyer. I have the greatest no, friend ever. ever. I remember you telling the story. I'm Sean King. I thought you just spoke <laughs> at, the, at the hearing. You represented him. I represented him, oh, He didn't represent him. I represented him because your lawyer was trash. No, your lawyer was trash. <laughs> I represented you. I did. <laughs> I'm about to say, lawyer hear ye, Drew. Hear ye, <laughs> Lawyer you know Drew. I'm saying, I was out here. I got up on the stand. I said, I said, sit down, fam. <laughs> so the lawyer, sit the fuck down. Sit your ass down, little boy. And you went crazy. So the, the dude said this. I said, the guy was like, yeah. They were talking their little goofy ass accents. So uh, he, <laughs> he, goes, he had claimed that uh, he had claimed that uh, they, they hit him 14 times. I go, excuse me, miss. I was yeah. like, are you sure you have your numbers right? To so the lawyer. She goes, yes, hit the fuck. I was like, explain to me how Alex could have hit him 14 times while he's running away from the man and you have it on video. Let's just count it out what I start doing in the middle of court. <laughs> what I start doing in the middle yeah. of court. They played the video? No, 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 no. no. What I start doing. He was like, how do you do this? One. One. Two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> all the way to five. <laughs> so, if he did not hit, you must have quit. Holy shit. Holy shit. One, and one ain't hit. Holy you I must have quit. quit. 14 times. That's where he fucked up. I'm looking at that little police officer, bitch. I was like, oh, you, you got extra here. You said 14, didn't you? Oh, you in trouble. He's off. He's off. He's off. Just like that. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> Kept his black ass in jail for 30 more days. They did. They did. They sure did. They got out, though. They got out 30 days later. They got out 30 days later. They got out 30 days later. What if they were planning to let you go that day? And then I started talking all that shit. I started talking all that shit. We really want to lock him up. Okay. <laughs> but you're going to do his time for yeah. him, okay? But the crazy... Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, sorry about the Megan thing is, 
So Megan's in that Gail King interview saying that she did not have sexual, sexual relations with Tori. Now, I don't know she their relationship. When she said it, though. That's the only reason why I said maybe it could have happened. I, they, somebody said there might be a song or she was just talking about it. Oh, yeah. Because uh, when she asked it, she was like, mm. She had a freestyle at Coachella. Yeah, but we don't know if that was about Tori. Come on, Charlotte. No, but she, when she asked her, she was like, Okay, mm. okay, okay. Okay, look, look, look. That's fair. I, that's fair. I, hey, I, hey. I'm maybe not, she I didn't. thought it was about somebody else, but I'm going to hey, shut up. Hey, hey, maybe she didn't, and that's fair. Maybe she didn't. And that's cool. You keep saying that. Respect. That's awesome. Respect. But if they did. And he got proof. And either him or his friends or other people say, yo, they were hooking up for a minute, blah, blah, blah. Well, then why'd she say they didn't have sexual relations? She built Clinton all of a sudden? <laughs> Kelsey said what? You're not on mic. Here's oh, the thing, though. All I'm trying to say is if, sorry, go, go, go. Here's the thing about the era that we live in. We truly believe what we want to believe. That's all it is. We don't know if Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez ever had sex. Yeah. We have no... We want that, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't None know. whatsoever. Yeah. So if she says no, I ain't got no reason. I believe her. I, I believe her. Hey, yeah. hey, if she says no, I believe her. Here's the thing. But if it comes out that they did have That's sexual relations, how's it gonna come out? Everything's a lie. I think what happened was if they had sexual relations, it was just her, him going down on her. Yeah, that right, sexual that. relations. Like, uh, you, you see what I'm talking about? This is yeah. the area we live in. That's how Twitter works, right there. <laughs> that is. I Twitter. think Megan. I think he just hit her out. Now all of a sudden, That's you Twitter. know what? I heard. I heard that he just hit her out. out. That's the whole thing. Where did that even great. come from? But that's not even an opinion. That's, just next, that's unnecessary speculation. Yeah, I like, like I, with, with something like this, she said no, it's no. That's, that's how I feel. I, I believe it. Yeah. What I'm saying is if Can it's I ask a this, lie. Can I ask y'all this question? Go. What the fuck this got to do with the case, though? <laughs> right, though. That's my point. Yo, Gail, None of this mind your business, business yo. Hit your girl. It's Hit your girl. Why she snooping? She, she probably trying to see if like he, he, no, I think she, she, he was in love. Yeah, Gail asked in context because Gail was saying that because that's what Tori said. Tori said they had a Sexual relationship. So, Al, you brought that up about lying on your dick, remember? So, it's either she's lying or Tori's lying on his dick. That's corny. What this got to do with the case, though? I'm just saying, it just shows somebody's lying. But if, oh, if I thought, you know what I thought y'all was talking about? I thought y'all was talking about the oh. thing where she said, talk about stepping on the glass. No, no, no. no, no, no I'm no, telling you, no. she said she, she didn't oh, have I saw sexual that. Relations. I saw that. But, yeah. but, but real quick, I just want to keep it equal for both sides. If it comes out that Tori didn't hook up with her and he said he did. Wow, bro. Hey, you lied about that? You, you can lie about, about everything. everything. That's you got to be very careful. Yes, come on, man. Yo, you have to be truthful with these things, bro. Andrew that. is absolutely right. You're not on Andrew, mic. Andrew's absolutely right. When you, you tell when you, when thing, you tell one lie, else. I question everything, everything that you say from then on. You ever said too. There we so, go. But what about the evidence of the bullet fragments and all that shit? The, the, what are you no one's about, denying dude? that she got shot. No uh, one's saying the bullet fragments didn't end up in her question, foot. Okay. No, no. That, what we're talking about is if but you, you hear what he said though. He said that if if if, if, if Tori lied, lied about lied, then that means up, everything he said was a lie, him including too. him saying he didn't shoot her. What Get I'm it? saying is, if he lied about hooking up with her, then he, he could lie about everything. about saying not he shooting didn't shoot her. her. Exactly. We're making your argument. No. Okay. I thought you were talking about with. Megan, because you were originally talking about Megan. No, no, it's okay. Same thing with her, too. But, but, and exactly, that's what yeah. I'm saying, is, is one she lie. lied about saying, yeah, you have sex, that means he ain't shoot you. You yeah. know what I wish? Yeah. Be I just, very careful with your accusations. You get caught yeah. in one. Yes. Yeah. I just wish that they all cared more about the court of law than the court of public opinion. Yeah. Every single, both of them, both parties, are trying to prove shit to these fucking People. crazy motherfuckers on social watch. media. Mm -hmm. right. on, that don't know what's going on. And I, and, you know, I know that takes a level of patience. And I it's even said yesterday, I said, man, you know, when you watch, when you watched her on Gail King, she she had a level of defensiveness. But mm -hmm. it's like it's almost impossible not to. Yeah. Right. Like if you're if you're making that kind of accusation against somebody, and you're saying, yo, this person shot me and everybody wow. in the world is saying you're lying. Mm -hmm. How could you not be defensive? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, how yeah, could you right. not be? So it's like I understand that. Um, but I just wish that they cared more about the court of law than the court of public opinion. Let things play out in court. All the facts of the case will come out. All the evidence will come out. Every statement that's been made will come out. Every piece of evidence will come out. Just let shit play out. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do sometimes. Because right now, they got, they've been doing this shit for two years. Yeah, we're just bored. We need shit to react that's to. That's exactly yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. Same thing yeah, with the Amber Heard shit. Next? Like, come on, yo. Like, like even with it's like... They're musicians, though. You so say it's what? like, they're musicians. If their stock in popularity declines, people are less likely to listen to their music. Mm. All gimmicks. Maybe. 
But why would their stock in popular? Why would their popularity decline? Well, because so, you don't. Want I mean, listen Tories to, would because that's what you're being accused of. Listen, much. I get it. You know what I mean? But I just wish things would play out in the court of law first because what's going to happen is like you look at stuff like her, her like her medical reports are being released. Or you see text messages from the friend, well, alleged text messages saying, "Hey, help!" You know, Tory shot me. Whatever, whatever. Like whatever is out there that's factual evidence that police are using mm-hmm. is going to be used in yeah. the court of law. Those are things the general public don't know anything about exactly. yet. So what's going to happen is when the general public, if if there's things that start to counter what Megan said, counter what Tory said, mm-hmm. they're going to lose all that credibility anyway. anyway. Mm-hmm. When they could have just, just they could have just been quiet. Yeah. <laughs> like none of this had to play out the way it has. Everybody has chosen sides in this shit. For what? Yeah. What's the reason? Yeah. Tory had to. Oh, yeah, Did he? Tor- yeah. yeah. He had to. He was in survival mode, son. Like, hey, man, if I know I'm innocent of some shit and that, that, that all the evidence right. shows it, I'll let shit play out. Let everybody yeah. have their day, yeah, man. Let everybody man. have their day on Twitter. Talk that shit. Nothing. Yell at me, cancel me, scream at me, fuck me, this and that. When the facts come out, now what? Because guess what's going to happen? If the facts do come out and it says otherwise, ain't nobody going to apologize. Oh, because he was out here wilding. Ain't nobody going to say, yo, you was right. No. Ain't none of that's going. None of that's going to happen. Do you think he? Do you think he was fighting to like keep sponsorships to keep shows alive? All like, that's going anyway. You know how these corporations do. Yeah, All that scary. shit going anyway. They, 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 I thought he's done some shows and shit. Well, that, well, that's the music is a little different because. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if he's done any shows. He, he, done do shows. he could get his own. I'm just, I'm just saying, like it would be tickets. a it yeah. would be like a two year or three year hiatus that you're waiting then you got to pay legal fees for two, three years while you're not working, no sponsors, nothing. It's like you could go broke and not be able to even defend yourself if you're not working. Yeah. This is why she said, somebody asked her why did she do the interview with Gail. What was that tweet say? It says, crazy how May oh, you, gets to speak. See, I hate stuff like this. Crazy how May gets to speak on whomever platform or song about the situation with Tori R. Scroll down. But Tori R. But Tory R, he goes to jail being it's still an open invest- jail, investigation. The, the, the only reason she's talking is because Tory was talking. If you go back to and listen to Brilliant Idiots a few weeks ago, I said this was going to happen. I said she's going to do a major interview. Because? Because Tory keeps talking. And I if, said this yeah. was going to happen. I said this was going to happen. Yeah, and, yeah, and so yeah. Megan said, so a man... Now can, she got to control her narrative, you're saying. That's right. Because yeah. Tori got too much positivity, so she's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's right. Uh, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's right. So a man can shoot me, chop up horse legs and music videos to taunt me, pay blogs to spread false information from what's happening in court, record studio albums and make diss tracks. But when I talk to Gail King, that's the last straw. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I mean, listen, she's right. Everybody could have just been being quiet, waiting to see what happens. The only reason this shit is still a story is because everybody keeps talking about it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was two years ago. The Taylor's they throw, raising they her throw, hand. They uh, <laughs> throwing flame on the fire. That's all. I feel like in the do you watch the whole thing? The Gail King interview? Mm-hmm. Uh either they cut it out or they're dismissing one part of it. Like what happened with her and Kelsey? Like what I'm just saying to put things together. She's not talking about Kelsey. Why are they not friends no more or anything else? I feel like that will put Together, oh, because the word on the street was that Tori she did was talk about smashing in both. When she did talk, she talked about her friend in the interview. What she say? I, I thought I thought she said she Tori said, offered them money, not because she. Yeah, but that's not. Because Gail asked her straight up, "Why y'all not friends no more?" If I'm not mistaken, I yes. didn't that in that interview. A hundred percent. Let me see. Well, why is that not making leeway either? That should have been because it don't matter. Yes, it does. That's a part. That's why a does it? Part. Why does it matter? Yeah, it's going to tie everything too. together, though. Yeah. What, what the argument was about, everything else like that. I don't think none of that matters. The only thing they're trying to prove in the court of law is who shot Megan the Stallion. That's it. And they're going to they're gonna try to figure out probable cause. They're gonna, who did it and probable cause. That's it. That's it. Like, nothing more, nothing less. Why her friend not, why they not friends no more? Like, it's like, she, she's, trying to, she's trying to cover up something. Was she... Not holding her back. They even talked about down. the friend was the one that that was one of the major parts of the interview. They said the friend is the one who that texted Megan security and said, "Help, Tori just shot Meg." Why? Why did you in the interview go to that? They can't hear you though. That's my big sis. So how the hell is she your big sis? She's taller than me. 
You're older than her. <laughs> by yeah. a lot. She's a lot of confidence. By the way, by she's a lot. Megan she's was like in seventh grade when you was a freshman in college. Me, so no. I'm gonna know. No. I'm gonna know. You're going to stop acting Nobody's young. Gonna know. This should have been. By the way, let's talk about this Auntie for a second. Lee. She Taylor don't like the fact that she's old. Auntie TT. She hates the I'm fact that she's 31. Old, no, what are you old. talking about? I'm not old. Megan is 27 years old. Okay, she's three years older. Yeah. You were a senior when she was in eighth grade. No, I was. What? High school. You be 31 Wait, this what? year, Taylor. You're four years older than her. Yes. Who you, cares, you, you The world. Mom. You old. <laughs> you know what she said to me earlier? What? She was like, I was at Babyface concert. And she was like, you, like, she was like, she was like yo. you would have thought I was an auntie. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> You're not an auntie? Technically, yes, I am. Ain't no technically. You're yeah. 31. No, I, no, no, no. Don't do that. And you really have to be auntie and black. In the black culture, I'm not in that. Why not? Don't do that. I'm not. Are you somebody's aunt? I am someone's aunt. But when you we really say auntie, need... no, stop. What do you they know call what you? I mean? what, do your, what do your niece and nephew call you, Taylor? They call me Taylor. Do you race them at the cookouts? <laughs> Shut up. You auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you called Megan the, t- Megan the Stallion your big sister. I'm just saying, like, like you, you sound know, like, you like Rick Ross called the 85 South Show little homie. I know how to cook. I'm just saying you got to have and a special dish that oh, they yes, everybody auntie. love you do. You're not about to do that. You are auntie. Style. You were an uncle at 40, right? So let me at least get to 40, call me no, auntie. No, I was an uncle before that. But here's the thing. <laughs> you said Megan Thee Stallion was your big sister. She <laughs> is literally bigger than me. She's four years younger than you. I'm talking about physically. She my big That's sister horrible. too, man. She's bigger sister. You guys are bigger <laughs> 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 Was there a point you were going to make? I don't know anymore. Exactly. <laughs> that is what I just needed to get to. There was no reason for Taylor to be over there at all. Okay. No, you did you not. Know, the shirt wasn't in the back. You're like, you're grabbing everything okay. out. Nothing. Just pulling at things for no reason. All right? I just wish, moral of the story is, I just wish Megan and Tori would play out in a court of law yes. and not the court of public opinion. Because once all the evidence and stuff comes out, then people can make real decisions about what happened. How do happened? we not know? Isn't there like some satellite fucking tea? Like, can't you see it? T- Say again? Court case hasn't started. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they got a bunch of shit. They have to. I'm sure they got enough. We gonna see. I mean, there is, some people might say, Tory's lawyers were like, look, if you did this, you need to do everything in your power to sway the court of public opinion before your trial so we can either get a mistrial or you can have the, um, you know, the people be on your side going into it because you're fucked once the evidence comes out. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm a, I don't, this is what, they either need to do one or two things when it comes to certain cases now. And I know they can't do it because the judicial system is the way it's set up. They can't wait two years for certain cases no more. Mm. Sometimes when things like this happen, that shit got to happen immediately. OJ. And the reason it got to happen immediately is because people formulate opinions over two years. How yeah. can you be a jury in this case? You well, that's, with that we, we've almost like reached like the limits. I don't want to say the limits of justicism, but you know, the idea is like you can have a jury of your peers that aren't familiar with you. Impossible nowadays. And now with the social media, Impossible. you can't really have that. It's like my peers going to know who I am. Somebody, somebody, especially somebody, somebody if you somebody who's famous as Tori or Megan. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't think somebody getting paid off this, this thing going out this long? What, what do you mean? mean? Because you know, look at OJ case. I'm sure a whole lot, whole lot of people's getting paid. That's yeah, why lawyers. The lawyers are making. The lawyers are winning, bro. <laughs> lawyers are fucking. Both sides killing. of the lawyers are like, yeah, let's stress what? this shit out. I'm getting five hundred yeah, an hour. Yeah, lawyers killing. definitely. I don't know, man. Hmm. This shit is just silly. I just wish that they would get to these cases faster because I don't see how you can be a, a juror that's objective in a situation like this. I, I I'll say this though: if I'm Meg the Stallion and, and I did get shot by Tory, I'm tight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm tight. But nobody believes you. Nobody believes me. Like the fuck. <laughs> really? Why though? Did she lie one time about something? Got to be something. But why? But why right do we feel it? like we always got to rush to have an opinion about these things? Ah, uh, because you know us, bro. We, we got, got to, to be horse. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Horse ain't enough. No. No. We can't. no. Barbershop. No, no. You don't can go to barbershop. Can I be enough? honest with you? Can I be honest with like, you? What's up? S- you know, sports is boring, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sports ain't got nothing on this. <laughs> you know why? Because sports is too finite. Is that the word? What it, finite? Finite. 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 Wait, does that mean final? Yeah, finite. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Should have yeah, just yeah. said final. I don't know why I tried to be fancy. Yeah, yeah. Finite. It's, it's final. It's too final. Like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. know what it is. There's an answer. Yeah. There's no dis- dispute in it. That's right. After the game yeah. over, is over. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. It's, it is what it is. I like, even 
I told y'all the Nets was gonna lose to the Celtics. Yeah. I thought it would be in five. Mm. They ended up getting. I thought they gonna get one. Yeah, at least one. I thought they would get one. One, but nope. Here comes Two. the brooms. Yo. Here comes the brooms. Uh, Here comes the, the brooms. brooms. Oh, whatever DMX was saying in belly, like that shit. Fucking. I didn't know what you was talking about. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I thought it was, here comes the boom. It is. Boom. I thought <laughs> that's what you were doing. The boom. Was like, All right, something new. But and, but that's why you kind of low key got to give it up for guys like Stephen A. Smith who are making drama around final or finite situations. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. these political commentators, you're just talking shit all day about things that aren't finite. Yeah, oh, is yeah, yeah. is it right to be on the left? Is it right to be on the right? Who the fuck cares? These yeah. politics are better. These are not. Content. Stephen Content. A. Smith got to look at a game that's already decided and then find a way to talk some shit about it. Yep. Yeah. That's Who's hard, bro. Who's the fuck up? I guess the only thing I... I well, you know, well, you know what guys like Stephen A. Smith do? and Which is, I, I mean, it's fascinating because we do it with everything. They just go at athletes for their personalities. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about their game. Like this yeah, whole, yeah, what yeah, Jamie yeah, Foxx yeah. got mad at Stephen A. Smith for, it was rooted in sports, but really Stephen A. is questioning this man's character. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Let's cool. hear it. You haven't heard this? No. Nah. Oh, Stephen went off. Oh, he went off. This yeah. Time. Oh, that shit was great on Monday. Hold on, go. This go, was go, Monday. Go. This was after game three. This go, wasn't even go. game four. Oh, Nobody is worse than Ben Simmons. <laughs> ben Simmons might also be <laughs> no the one. weakest, most pathetic excuse for a professional athlete we no. have ever seen in not just American history, but the history of sports. I can't the think. History of sports. I can't think of a professional athlete that has come across more pathetic than this man. Damn. <laughs> that's all that's all attack on character, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. But like J kind of justified, no? Um, I can't say it's kind of justified because I don't know what his issue is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's here. right. If he's actually dealing with some... Some, some mental health issues. Like, there's clearly clearly something's not right. His back, whatever it is. That was the other funny shit Stephen A. Smith said. Did we find out why his back is hurting? Did he step <laughs> in a pothole? Okay. What did he do? Was he getting it in with somebody and he blew his back? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he did. Oh, Stephen went Stephen crazy. Going. He, he was bad. not playing yesterday. The shit was super entertaining. That's yeah. why they pay him $8 million a year. Yeah. But... I don't know why Ben They put Simmons him to work out. for that $8 million, though, bro. $8 million. That man has 14 different shows. He likes it, though. He enjoys it. Oh, he, oh you can tell. You can okay. tell. You can yeah, tell. Yeah, Here's yeah. the like thing about Ben Simmons. He, it, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you could argue he's underpaid at $8 million. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think he's underpaid at $8 million. I can't remember the last person, and I've been alive 43 years. I don't think, and I'm, I, could, I know people mm -hmm. might dispute me on this. I don't think ESPN had a face. Now, Stuart A. Scott, rest, God bless the dead. People like Hannah Storm. We know all of those people. But it was a, it was like Madden. a group. It was like a collab. There you go. John Madden? Was Madden on ESPN? <laughs> no, man. EA no. Sports. <laughs> I'm talking about video games. Guys, man. Yeah, John you're, Madden. Listen. But yes, it was a group of those Sports <laughs> Center anchors. And now it's Stephen A. Smith. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When you think ESPN, you think Stephen A. Smith. Stephen, Stephen A. Smith is the face of ESPN. Like, you look at Stephen A. Smith, you think to yourself, that is ESPN. I don't think that they've ever, ever had an anchor Low that key. was the face of the network. Like so that's that. 20 million a year, bro. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, that's 20 million Strong. a year. I think he's underpaid at 8 million. He might get money from other things. Like, yeah. maybe if he calls, like, I, I don't know if it's all in. Yeah. There's no way it's all in. There's nobody, there's nobody in the world that we want to hear from in regards to especially basketball more than Stephen A. Smith. No, it's not even the sport. But if someone won't show up, if there's <laughs> drama. I want to hear, I want to know what he got to say. Yo, yo, yo. Everybody, I everybody, everybody I know sit down. Say, yo. Hey, everybody sit there. Everybody sit the fuck down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't got to talk. You know what I mean? Like, like, I'm going to show you how Kyrie can't run the, and score 14 at the same time. Uh, like he went in like, and you wanted to see it. Listen, I, you know, listen. I, I found it very interesting. I find the whole net situation interesting. I never thought the Nets could win. Mm. Um, I said that from the beginning. I just wasn't sure about KD if and he, Kyrie if he played, together. What you think about him? If Ben played no. with them, still no, no, not at all. Not even one game. There's nothing Ben Simmons <laughs> would add to that Nets team. And here's the problem with the I'm Nets team: sure. they have no leader. Mm. There's no leader yeah, now. When they came to being a leader. You're right. I don't like when people say, you know, somebody's robbing, because people like 
Robin means like Batman, Batman and Robin, and Robin yeah. right? Like they, they they said that silly shit about Giannis a couple of years ago. Oh, he's no Batman. You know, he's a Robin. He needs a Batman. Uh, Giannis is clearly Batman. He's a superhero. Yeah. The reason you can never say that about Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving is because they're way stronger than Robin ever was. Yeah, both of them have rings. But here's the thing. They're Avengers. They might even be the strongest Avengers. But they need They team. might be Thor. They might be Hulk. But you need a Captain America. You need a Tony Starks to lead. Yeah. They don't have any leaders on the Nets. Steve, yeah. Nash, is the, Steve Nash should be fired. Yeah. Steve Nash is a terrible basketball coach. But they hired him to be- just be there. They because hi- of Kyrie. Because Kyrie said they didn't really need a coach. Exactly. This shit is crazy. <laughs> they got two plays on the Nets. Two. Give the ball to KD. That's it. Give the ball to Kyrie. Kyrie. They say flat earth and eczema. Those are the two plays <laughs> they run. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> and no, the both ISO plays. You know who that you know who the ISO plays are for when they nice. yell out those two things. Ouch. It's the truth, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are the two, are the two ISO plays that they run. Yo. Did he change his mind? Yo, son, this, I would name the defenses after that. Like, if I'm the Celtics, <laughs> every time KD got the eczema, eczema, drop KD back, eczema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, the Celtics were a terrible matchup for the Nets because everything the Celtics do great, the it's, Nets suck at. So it's like teamwork. Great defense, chemistry, yeah. defense, and and amazing coaching, and and uh, low ego, right? Oh my their god, superstars are young, so they can manage their egos, yeah. and that's and who's their coach? I don't right think now? KD got an ego. Interesting. I, I don't think KD got an ego. I think KD is naturally great. Hmm. He's naturally phenomenal, and that term, that that name they use for him, easy money sniper, is real. I think that he's a real easy. I don't know him personally, but he seems like a real easy going, laid back person, but too easy going and laid back. Because he's not going to check nobody. He needs, a, dr- check he needs a Draymond. Yes. He needs to be Jordan. Yeah. Yes. He, yeah. he needs, that's, uh, it's weird He needs somebody talk- to jack, so the way him and Draymond got into it on the bench for whatever reason, yeah. somebody got to be getting that Kyrie like that. Yeah, yeah, well, and that's what LeBron did. I mean, yo, credit LeBron. There's a lot of criticism about LeBron, but like LeBron kept Kyrie in check. LeBron, when LeBron left, LeBron was the best player on the cast. Mm. Not necessarily the leader when he first started. The best player, not necessarily the leader, developed into went to Miami. Yeah, well, I say D Wade was the leader, mm. but when LeBron went back to Cleveland, he, he learned it. how to lead. Yeah. yeah, and he led Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love and the rest of those Cavs. He led them in a real way. They don't have that on that Nets team. Is, is he still a flat? They don't have that. Who? The Kyrie. Yeah, hundred percent. No, as far as I know, you don't think he's still a flat earther? No, nah, I changed oh, too. On. I used to do that. I mean, he got I some time now to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tell y'all something. They're not gonna win next year either. Mm-mm. The coach in Brooklyn has to change dramatically, starting with Steve Nash. Got to get the fuck yeah, out of there. I, I, you can't even blame Steve Nash. It's like I can blame Steve Nash. Really? He has no plays. <laughs> well, well, does he have no play? I mean, you're talking about a guy who, like, all right. Here, so here's the thing. Yeah, this he, is why I think Steve really Nash is is the wrong coach for them. Mm-hmm. Steve Nash was the type of player who could take role players and then turn them into superstars. Like, if you play with Steve Nash, your next contract was the biggest contract you ever got. Yeah. I don't care who the fuck mm. you You had to play with him. Mm. But you had to play him. with him. And so he's a guy who's like, I'm a creator. I can't wait to distribute and get guys in position to score. And KD and Kyrie are guys who don't even need someone to create for them until they come into the playoffs and they're playing a very tough defensive team. Yeah. And then you realize that ISO one-on-one shit, that works during the regular season when it's yeah, 82 games ball. and motherfuckers yeah, like, I'm not about ball. to bust my Achilles. Yeah, that's right. Now playoffs is like, yo, the Achilles is I done. Got. I don't Let's care. Go. I don't care right now. Mm-hmm. This is extra cash. Every game these guys are playing, extra. that's a new house. Playoff money's different. That's a new down payment or Word something on it, right? Yeah. So it's like, I, I would like to buy my mom a new house. Mm-hmm. I would like to get to the next round of the playoffs. Yes. So it, it's a different level of defense, and you need to have plays. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I saw Charles Barkley say that he feel like Kevin Durant was not a bus driver. He was a bus rider. He said, he said, I want to hear about these bus rider rings. Yeah. Because if you didn't take your team to get there or okay. something like that, he's like, that don't impress me. But I like what Kenny Smith says. says Kenny Smith said, just because you ain't driving the bus don't mean that you're not giving our directions. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because like, Kenny got to defend his rings. But was Kevin Durant... <laughs> <laughs> but, but was Kevin Durant the best player on that Warriors team? Those years yes. he was there? Yes. Yes. But was he the leader? No. no. And that's all it boils down to. That's not even a diss to either one of them. They're just not well, leaders. What I, would, what, I would say, what I would say to Kevin right now is like, 
Now you're in a position where you realize, like, you didn't really have to lead in Oklahoma City, right? Because you had Russell Westbrook, and Russell was just such a dominant force. They needed a leader, too, though. But, but they did need one, but he yeah. wasn't in a position to do it. Then he comes and has amazing success within, like, a franchise that has an incredible culture and a leader. Amazing system, too. Amazing system. Then he goes to a team where there isn't a leadership role. And he has to be the leader. And now he learns that. And, now, and Kyrie are supposed to be the leader. It, yeah. Well, 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 well. If you're going to lead with someone else, you both have to be able to check your ego. That I don't think Kevin, I don't think KD has one. I, I, no, I know Kyrie yeah. is going to be the bigger issue, but like KD, what I, instead of everybody's going to pile on and be like, "Oh, you can't lead, you can't do all these things." What I would say to KD is like, "Hey, here's your next level up. You've mastered the offensive game. You're an incredible defender for where you are right now. That's right. You you have actually really good court vision. That's you know right. what I mean? Like you're an impressive basketball player." How can you do something outside of basketball? How can you get these guys, when you're not playing, to want to die for you out there? This is like what you were saying when LeBron came to Cleveland. Yeah, he yeah, he, he learned how to do it. Though, that yeah. can be your moment. Next year, be excited about yeah. it. Yeah. I think KD needs a little bit more ego. And the reason I think mm. KD needs a little bit more ego because he has to be able to assert himself in that way to say, man, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm out here busting my ass every motherfucking night. I'm trying to play through injuries and you won't show up for me? Like, like the, the wildest thing to me was when Kyrie Irving was saying how the Celtics have more chemistry than them, yeah. and the Nets didn't have time to gel. I wonder why. Kyrie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was there was there an issue you can <laughs> think the, of? By the way, I respect your choice yes. if that's the choice that you made, but these are the that's consequences why. of your choice. Yeah. Like, you're not going to just pop back up in the playoffs when these guys have been playing together all year long mm-hmm. and think that y'all just going to take shit over. Yeah. Like, no, man. And no. this is the only chance, not the only chance, but this is like, I think the best possible season for Kyrie to do because I don't think Kyrie's played over sixty games any season. They, no, they said four four times he's he's been in the league eleven years and has played more than sixty six games. Only four times. Only four times. Yeah. So like this was actually the perfect situation for his. His body can't handle a full NBA season and the playoffs. It just physically can't handle it. And and listen, I'm not trying to be critical of him. It's like neither can ours. What's wrong with being critical of him? I, I'm not trying to LeBron like. LeBron been doing it. It's, for it's years. not about Jordan critique. It yeah, but some of the, some people are built different. LeBron built is built different. Di- like built LeBron different. can sprain his ankle and then by Tuesday he's good. Like yeah. that guy's built different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, but Kyrie's not built like that. He has incredible skill. He's just not built like that. So now he actually has a season where he doesn't yeah. play the whole fucking season. His body is fresh. His legs are fresh. His knees are fresh. He's actually ready for the playoffs. And then the chemistry ain't there. And then they go into they run into a tough Celtics team. Lose something. Man. I, I don't you you think Kyrie and KD don't really work. I don't think KD, Kyrie and Ben Simmons work. Oh, is I mean, the, you, you, you know yeah. what's missing from the league? Real point guards. Well, KP3. That so, team needs a real point guard. Well, that's a leader. So here's the thing. Yeah. It's like is yeah. Kyrie going to be willing to sub, to like uh what's it called? A submit himself to an offense where he doesn't have the ball in his hand? I think Kyrie likes creating with the ball because he's a magician with it. Yeah. KD will submit himself. KD will run around he screens, with State. Yeah. and he was incredibly effective mm-hmm. and probably saved so much energy not having to create the whole fucking play every single time. But with Kyrie, I don't know if he's willing to give Ben Simmons the ball. Now, here's the good thing about Ben Simmons. <laughs> if he can get his head on his shoulders, he's terrified of shooting, but he likes distributing. And he likes yeah. playing defense. And he likes which playing defense, which is kind of like what the they Nets need. Literally what you're missing. A big guy who could defend, take the pressure off KD, yeah, whoever KD guy to defend, and he don't want to shoot, so you hand it off. I just don't think Kyrie is going to give up that rock. Well, I need I need KD to have the same smoke he has for Charles Barkley. For, and all these OGs he be getting at. Like for Kyrie, he, right? He was get, exactly. Like, if you can't, if, if, if Charles can say something about you and you call Charles out, then you got to have that same smoke for your teammate, there whether it it's publicly, whether it's privately, like you got to put them in check the same way. Mm. I, cl- clown them. Clown Kyrie. Mm. Because clowning Charles Barkley because he played for the Houston Rockets, bro, they were past their prime. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we weren't expecting Charles to do anything. Like yeah. you, you could say he was ring chasing, but hey, he was way past his prime. Same thing. Then he saw him post a picture of Charles Barkley on the sixes. He was a rookie when he played with Moses Malone and Dr. Shadem. Like, so <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. It's like, KD, you, Kyrie yeah. Irving, y'all He ring y'all chased prime. by getting drafted? <sighs> James Harden was in his prime. Yeah. Couldn't make it work. Yeah. Last year, you got bumped in the second round. This year, you got bumped in the first and you got swept. 
You gotta eat that. Yo, yo, that you gotta sweep, eat that. Sweep is crazy. Sweep is crazy. Which here comes the broom. The here comes the broom. Here comes the broom. What? I think theirs is worse. I think theirs is worse than the Lakers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no. This the, I already knew the oh, Lakers were going to do yeah, Exactly. Probably, it wasn't yeah. a surprise. I wasn't surprised. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, this is this is the probably the worst collapse in NBA well, history. Everybody said it was yeah. the Lakers. Yeah. What no, no, seed no. were they? What seed were they? They were a seventh seed. But this is a team that has been predicted to win the championship two years in a row. Right. And it's, <laughs> so, yeah, it's not like a real seventh seed because they were missing Kyrie for half the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. on paper, they look like the best super team ever. They're yeah. actually the worst super team ever because every super team we've seen in this modern era has Lakers at least gone to that. the finals mm. and they've all won once. Mm. They've all at least won a ring. Yeah. It, even if they lost in the finals, they won a ring. The Heat won a ring. Uh, Celtics won a ring. Yeah. Who does the Warriors won a ring when KD mm-hmm. went there? Mm-hmm. All of these super teams have won rings. They haven't even got out of the second round. Man. And bro, like my my friends were at the games and they were like, "Yo, it's a weird, it's a weird atmosphere." I'm like, "We talking about ain't no real Nets fans. Ain't no real fans, bro. Come on, man. Mm. Ain't no real fans. Come on, man. Come on, man. New Jersey on, Nets. Man. Them shit, no them shit look like Nets fans are like Envy's beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why the arena looks so black around the edges. You see how you yeah. see how, you see how my Jersey, good, baby. You see how my good brother Envy looks so black around the edges. <laughs> Envy look like the Barclays Center. It's really <laughs> black up there. Really black up there. Nets fans are like Envy's beer. Okay, you okay. gotta bring them back to Jersey, man. Honestly, I'd respect it more. Yep, I would respect it more if they was in the garden, and if they was in the garden, <laughs> we'd be protecting them from the slander. That they oh, if they were right Knicks now. fans. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if they yeah. were the Knicks, if the Knicks was in this situation. Yeah, you put yeah. Kevin Durant on that same Knicks team this year, they had third seat, third or fourth seat. You think? Yes. I mean, he yes. is that good. He is D-Rose a guaranteed player. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julius Randle yes. there. Yes. Fucking, yes. They, uh, RJ Barrett, they're, they're, they're at least yeah. a third or fourth seed. In that's the interesting. I think that would, so. That that's go. interesting. I don't yeah. know if they're better than, they're not better than the Bucks, but yeah, that's interesting. they're in the Bulls. Uh, who's the third seed? Category? Bulls. Yes, who's the third the seed in the East? Now nah, they're not the better than Celtics. Yeah, they bought a fourth seat. KD on the Knicks team right now, they bought a fourth seat. Yeah, so the 76ers, I think, were four, and I think the uh, Raptors were five. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I haven't been watching that much this year. Me neither. And I'm wondering, is it... I never watch a full game. Yo, bro, and, and, and is it like, are we just busy with other things, or is basketball just not been that interesting this I'll year? Watch it. I, I love watching just basketball. Doing it. Yeah. So, so people are still watching it, it's just me. That's yeah, what that's what, that's I what I assume. I I, you I just knew. got married. It's new. Like yeah, you just got yeah, married. Yeah, You've yeah, been on yeah, tour. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You just got jumped into the crypts. Clearly, you know what gang, I mean. Gang, gang, gang. gang. <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah, you got your man cave. <laughs> you got yeah, I live in Manhattan, bro. My man cave is a bathroom. <laughs> man cave. <laughs> 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 man cave. I need some time to myself. You need to move out to Jersey, bro. Yeah, yeah. You thinking about it? Nah. Why? Nah, get a nice fire need. crib in Jersey. Nah, next, next, next move, bro. We got to go somewhere warm, Charlotte. Man, you ain't got to tell me. Yeah. Charlotte, we got to go somewhere week. warm, yeah. Charlotte. I was in Florida this week with shorts and t-shirts. Hey, I looked up at the hey, sky. I'm like, hey, bro, I why, get it, God. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, I get bro. it. Hey, yeah. save that money, too. I get yeah, hey, no state bro. tax. No tax, Ooh. nothing. Man, I don't even want to talk about that. Listen, shit. hey, listen. Listen, bro. Hey. The IRS took my prostate this year. (laughs) (laughs) They motherfucking. They paid for the colonic? Man, the IRS, they they tickled that motherfucker a few times. It was like, I don't know, let me do it. Let me check it again. Like, them motherfuckers win. Yeah, they don't play. And God damn, they don't play. They don't play, play, bro. They get theirs, man. Child support? They get theirs. IRS? Don't fuck with them. I'll I'll pay child support all day long. Yeah. That that IRS? That's exactly what you're going to do all day long. (laughs) That's right. That IRS? For years. Whatever you pay the IRS, <laughs> this year is it that same thing. And what's day. crazy is I pay taxes quarterly. Yeah. And I, I put always, I, I, anytime I get a check, the money, immediately my financial team puts the money away from yeah, taxes. Yeah, yeah. Take it away from me. Don't even play with it. Don't even play with it. I don't even want to see the number. It's not your, because you know it's not it's yours. Not yours. Yeah. And then you get addicted to that number with the taxes, isn't right. it? Right. Oh, right. Bad, bad, All right. All right. That's bad, not bad. yours. Whatever it is, if it's 100, that means it's 50. Yeah. And you got to know that. Yeah. At the least 60. Yeah. If you don't put that shit away, you're out of your mind. But just, man, when you really like, this would have fucked you up. And I and it's, it's a little different for me because I work a corporate job too. So I work one of those jobs where they take the taxes out. Mm. Look at the taxes they took out through the year. Mm-hmm. And then the shit you pay on everything else. And you like, holy shit. 
to get I wish out. they would tell me I don't have freedom of speech in this country. <laughs> um, I paid the right yeah, to why, say why you think the what Karen's the fuck crazy? I want. They, I, Karen's I don't blame them. Karen's yeah, like, oh, hell yeah, 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 yeah. How I you wish understand you Karen's? Would. What? <laughs> I pay taxes. I take care of you. Man. That's how they talk to the cops. I can't say that. But Karen's can. Yo, I that's will. a good ass point you when you know that you want actually want doing try, the hey, Cops try me this week. I'm going to say that shit. Wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, now's not the time, bro. <laughs> now's not the time. <laughs> I'm not the end of you. April. I, it's a good job. It's like, it's I heard, job. like I heard you on idiots <laughs> about wanting a, pro- a prostate check. All right, let's pay some bills. Let's uh, Blue let's Chew. Ah, uh, the goats. All right, guys, we take a break for a second because I got to make sure that you guys are giving hard dick, okay? I know um, it's tax season. You know, that's uh, that's stressful enough to get limp. So you might need to uh, go and deliver. <laughs> you might need to go and right. deliver for your shorty, your side chick, your wife, whoever it is, the new girl that you're about to meet. And the best way to do that is with the chew. Same active ingredient that's inside Viagra, Cialis. But this is the chew. This is the one that we rock with. And we're never playing around. This is the backbreaker. Okay? BlueChew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS. You're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS, first month free. All you got to do is pay that $5 shipping. What else we got, Charlotte? Man, we got to talk about Squarespace, man. Salute to Squarespace uh, for always supporting the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. We rock with Squarespace heavy. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns, all right? Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Build in analytics. Measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which keywords are most, oh no, and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Uh, Do we have church announcements? The announcements are a very important part of what we do in church. Yo, uh, final two shows of the infamous tour, Vancouver. Um, might be a couple tickets left. I'm not sure. TheAndrewStoles.com. Those are the final two shows. Then the tour is officially done. It's crazy to even say that. It's been years oh. that I've been on this tour, and it's been obviously the most successful in my career, and I'm incredibly grateful for everybody who came out, man. And it's It really meant a lot, especially that show or those shows at Radio City, man. man. That, that was... Uh, that was really that was that was a really cool moment for me. So thank you guys so much, dangerousshows.com. Pull up to Vancouver. And then after that, we, you know, it's uh, back to scratch, man. This is this is the fun time. Do you feel like uh Trouble time. comedian's perspective of you changed after Radio City? <sighs> That's an interesting one. R- Radio City is one of those venues where like definitely people go, oh shit. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like where, like, they had an idea. Usually comedians have their ears to the streets, right? And at least within the, the world of comedy, so they know what's going on. Mm-hmm. But I think that anybody on the periphery saw that, and they are like, oh, it's different. Like, it's a different... A lot of comedians show up. I know Duvall showed up. Uh, no, nah, Duvall, Duvall couldn't come, man. He was really sweet, though, man. No, he not was... the radio shit. I know he said you did. He... Oh, yeah, the Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot yeah, of comedians yeah. come in, a lot of support. Throughout the tour, yeah, man. Well, that's, that's different, really though. Cool, Duvall's man. friends. That's, you know, that's different. Yeah, he's I'm man. saying, a lot of people might have hated it, but like, oh, nah, fuck that. I see the tour going. They'd probably be like, fuck you, but if they came all the support, that's dope. Yeah, I think that there's, I think there's always going to be competition within your field, you know, yeah. and, uh, and I, so I'm cool with that, and I understand that, but like, I also try to put out a lot of goodwill, you know, in, in the mm-hmm. comedy world, like, at least everything that, that we've been doing and how we've been kind of like changing the way the comedy's put out. Like, I, I don't get upset at comics for, you know, uh, copying what we do. I tell them to do it. And I say, it's for all of y'all. So I, I think that there's, I think at least in the comics that have done the things that we're doing and starting to see a lot of success because of it, I, I, I think that there's some gratitude. I think so. Yeah, and you know it's not, I mean? you know what I think too? I, I, think, would, hope, um, I would hope so. 
You know, I think a lot of people were shocked that what you do online translates to actual ticket sales. Mm. We live in this era mm. where you can see people having these buzzes online and, you know, getting all these views and everything else, but it don't translate yeah. into anything else yeah. into the real world. And I think a lot of people, I, I believe a lot of people were like, oh, shit. These, he not just putting clips on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Instagram. He not just putting specials yeah. up on YouTube, which you yeah. haven't done in a minute. Yeah. I mean, you still do the clips on Instagram, but... Of course. You only know, yeah, did like yeah. one, what, one special, two specials on YouTube? I did three on YouTube. Three? Yeah, three three on YouTube, and then just a lot of clips and everything that we put on YouTube, but... I think people, yeah. I think a lot of people were shocked, like, oh, shit, like, this shit yeah. translates an actual... Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't do that. Well, it's not going to work for everybody. But, yeah, you know, 85 South, so, uh, they, they do it. They, they do, do it. it. They yeah. kill, and on, they put like, stuff on YouTube. It's like, a couple of they just sold out the yeah. fucking Grand Hole Old Opry in Nashville. Yeah, man. I saw them in, in the white fucking people's arena. Atlanta. Yes. So, yeah, in Greensboro. In white people's Atlanta. That's <laughs> <laughs> Nashville is. That's really white nah, people's Atlanta. They're killing it, man. Shouts to them. But they've also done it. They've, yes. like, they've went through the YouTube and social media mm-hmm. route. And, then, and you have to understand, like, this is how we consume things now. Yeah, and at the yeah, end of the yeah. day, we want to see the things that we consume. Yeah. So it's like, if you're in somebody's face and you're giving them content, they're laughing at, they're sharing with their friends and they're like feeling joy about, and also you create a show that they don't want to miss. Like, mm-hmm. we don't just do, a, y'all saw it, we don't just do a comedy show. Like, we do, it is a show. It's a show. So yeah. it's like, cringy show. <laughs> yeah, cringy. there's some moments it gets wild. <laughs> so it's like, so yeah, I, I hope that we create something where people feel like they need to be there. And I always admire the people who, who create that. And, yeah. So. That's why I don't re- listen. If you can connect all of the dots, I respect it so much. But if you just one of those people who just doing shit online, riling people up for views and likes and whatever else, last. and that shit don't translate in the real world, it's not going to last. And it's it's really pointless. Because they don't fuck yeah. with you. They don't fuck yeah. with you. Yeah. You don't know if people fuck with you until you're trying to sell something. Yo, mm-hmm. until they got to leave their house. Word up. Mm-hmm. Or actually buy something. I don't give a yeah. fuck if it's a t-shirt. A book. A book. Yeah. Like, like, that's when you realize people fuck with you. That's why I tell everybody, man, you got to... I told Envy that shit before he put his book. I said, man, the, the, the best thing I like about your book, that no, that you and your wife are going to experience is that book tour. Because hmm. when you go out on that road and you show up places and it's like hundreds of people there lined up buying books to see you. waiting. Man, like that shit is an unbelievable feeling. Because I, I never used to go nowhere. Yeah. I stopped going to the clubs and shit years ago. Because yeah. I knew. I'm like, you know what? What I want to be doing five years from now, I'm going to start doing that. Man, we put out that first book and the second book. We be pulling up in these cities. Like, yo, 800 people at the bookstore. Son, I remember we like, were in what? Atlanta, I think. Was it Atlanta? It was somewhere. I, I, I was doing shows as well, and I bumped into you guys, and I came by the book signing. It was a black-owned bookstore. I'm pretty sure it was, oh, that was Atlanta. That was the second one. Barnes & Noble, yeah. No, that was the second one. No, this wasn't Barnes & Noble. Yeah, I know. I did Barnes & Noble. Uh, I literally did Barnes and Nobles earlier that day, and then this and one then you went, they went to the black bookstore. So yeah. it was the line was crazy, and people were like, "I don't know, man." It was it was different, and I, and and I felt two things. I was like, "Wow, this is really cool that he gets to see the intimate relationship he has in person." And I took that for granted about being was a stand up. What book was that? The first and that second. was Black Privilege. That was Black Privilege. The second one, Shook one was stupid too. But that one's the that everybody came out. And they yeah. was ready to go. <laughs> yeah. I, I was picking them up. And they, you know what he's yeah, trying to say? Yeah, Dog jokes aside, the second you. book is about mental health. Yeah. Oh. So what him and Duvall's running joke was, yeah, it is the, I was bringing them all out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was bring, I, I, it's the truth, because I yeah. knew exactly who we let go get the book signed first and fast. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, getting yeah. out of here now. <laughs> you were working overtime. You, <laughs> you let them go. He tipped the line. Let's I go. appreciated that, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nah, but you got to see how you affect people. Yes. And I think that's one of the things that, like, a lot of times comics, we take for granted is, like, and maybe the reason why we have an ego when it comes to, like, whether an executive wants us to edit something. It's like, bro, you don't understand. I'm out here in these streets, these streets, I'm not in the street, you know what I mean? But I'm out here, right. like, with the people. I know what they laugh that's at right. and what they don't. Yeah, like, that's right. you're in an office. That's right. You're assuming. That's right. I know. That's right. Yes. That's and, right. And, the people. That's and right. when Very you important. put out the book and you see the way that people react to that's it, right. you know. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's why anything, uh, I'm not even joking when I say this. Other shit don't matter. Mm. If you cannot sell, if what you're doing does not translate into people coming to your show, mm. uh, mm. buying your books, whatever it is, it no. Not, it's, it's, it's for nothing. It's for yeah. That's exactly smell. what it is. Fart fart. And, and guess what? You got to fart every day. And the fart's got to be louder and stanker mm-hmm. than the they one you did stink, before. Though. They just they just loud. Yeah. No, them shit stink. 
And then they they have to be stinky. They have to be loud because that's the only way to get attention. And you just got to go more and more and more. And then you basically sell yourself out. Because you don't got the people. You just got distractions. That's right. You got any charges? Uh, Just wax? Yes. uh, Whoswax.com, man. Go in and grab the gummies. Go to your local dispensary in L.A. The Who's Wax is really doing good out there. Right here in 106 and Columbus, right here in New York City. Um, be in a couple more stores in uh, New York and Jersey coming up soon, man. So y'all go to your local dispensary soon everywhere. Go grab that Who's Wax. Um, Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. Go holla at us. And Podcast War is definitely coming up soon. I was out there this weekend busting some niggas' ass up. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. Word. Um, church announcements. What do I got? Um... I don't know. Just keep getting fined in Tamika, man. Keep going out there and supporting fine in Tamika. Uh, salute to the New York Times. New York Times put out an article yesterday. Uh, seven audio books that you must listen to. Fine in Tamika was one of them. Okay. Yeah, so so thank you to everybody that's been supporting fine in Tamika on Audible. Uh, me and Kevin Hart's first uh, release through SBH Productions. Salute to Kev, man. Kev just did a deal. Kev just sold uh, a portion of his Heartbeat Productions uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but he sold for 100 mil. He sold a percentage for 100 mil. So, hey, that brother that brother just keeps inspiring. Winning. Oh, my God. Now but that's, good for him, bro. Like, making something from nothing. Wow. I and told you that. sell it. Like, yeah. I told wow. you the last time I saw somebody do what you're doing now was Kevin Hart. Because mm. I remember when Kevin had his sitcom and he had Soul Plane. And they didn't do well, yeah. and he had to hit. He had to hit that stand up circuit again. Mm. This is before. This, this is when social media was first taking off. This is when he was going to the clubs, and he would go to the comedy clubs, and he'd get everybody's email. Smart. He'd get everybody's email, and so he was just putting together this newsletter, and he'd send out this Kevin Hart newsletter. And when Twitter came out, everybody wondered how Kevin got so many followers so fast because he had all of those emails from all of those comedy shows. And I remember just like. You just started hearing the buzz about Kev all because of stand-up. He was mm-hmm. back in them streets. He's back in them streets, back in them streets. And I remember Quincy, salute to Quincy. I remember Quincy saying, he he said what Kevin is doing in comedy is what like Lil Wayne did in the mixtape circuit. Mm-hmm. See that. Just just flooding, uh, flooding the market. I see that. And I remember that. Every beat. I remember that weekend at Caroline's. It was a weekend at Caroline's. And Kevin did something. It was like he did like Nine 16 shows. shows. Yeah, yeah. It was something yeah. stupid. Yeah. Like four shows a night from Thursday to Sunday or something like yeah. that. And we went to one of the shows, me and Duval. And I never forget it. Duval and Kevin was backstage, you know, having a friendly debate like they always used to do. And they started arguing about Bunny like they always do. And Kevin was like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure I got you right now. And Duval was like, no, nah, I got you. And Kevin was like, hey, man, they're about to announce my name. And when they announce my name, this crowd's going to go crazy. I'm not going to be able to hear you. And literally, <laughs> when I say literally, Coming to the stage, oh, you know him on Kevin Hart. He just walked away looking at Duval, smiling. <laughs> <He's walking laughs> the and that was his coming out moment. Mm. Like that, Car- that night, that weekend at Caroline's was when Kev that's took off fun. and never looked back. And that's how that to me, your Radio City show was. Fuck yeah, that was the one where everybody was like, "All right, Certified. he's arrived." Fuck yeah, you know what I mean. So, next thing is a movie. That's cool. That's what happened to Kev. Let's cook. That's what happened to Kev. Think like a man was out, and then he was out of here. All right, what else we got, man? What we got? What we got? Oh, I love this. California man charged. Let's do some shit you won't care about next week. California man charged after allegedly threatening Merriam Webster over gender definitions. Oh, can I tell you something? I yes. meant to text you the other day because I saw Fantastic Beasts. Do your, your kids like that movie? Fantastic Beasts? It's like the, the kind of Harry Potter world. I don't remember. Anyway. I, I watched so much of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> J.K. Rowling wrote the movie, produced the movie, everything. So, really? Yes. Okay. J.K. Rowling proves that if you make the companies enough money, it doesn't matter what opinions you have in the world. Because by trans people's definition, J.K. Rowling is a transphobe. They call her a transphobe all the time. I don't know what her opinion is. Nah, she's on it. She is not messing around. I think she, I, yeah. Uh, Let's look it up. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. J.K. Rowling, she made Harry Potter, et cetera. But the point is, they, and there's so many interesting things about this new movie. First of all, at the beginning of the movie, there's a uh, uh, basically Dumbledore and Grindelwald are, are we're in love. These are two men. So they were in okay. love. And they Friendly, cu- progressive. Very progressive. Okay. They cut that five minutes out from the Chinese version of it. And I think from a version that was in like uh, some Middle East countries as well. So this is the company that makes its way of saying, hey, as long as you make us enough money, we will throw our fucking 
morals and ethics out the window. That's totally fine. And then with J.K. Can Rowling, money. Say, it, that, that's what I'm saying. This shit is all about money. Like, Johnny Depp didn't make enough money for Pirates of the Caribbean mm-hmm. in order to have that relationship with Amber Heard. If he made them enough money, he would be able to. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you make these motherfuckers enough money, they turn, uh, they turn away, bro. I don't know. It's like football, dog. It's like, eh. Yeah. No, really? Right. Only reason I say that because we know some. super superstar. Yeah, but that's the NFL is different. That's the, 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 by the way, America needs to be more like the NFL. You know what I mean? There's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no place that gives more grace than the NFL. They give me NFL all grace. grace. Hitting the head all day. We've seen some multi multi millionaires get canceled, bro. Like get the fuck out of here. But they don't do enough for the company. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. I They're mean, replaceable. They making too much money. If and they was happy to get rid yo, of them. J.K. Rowling is irreplaceable. They are billions of dollars to be made off of her concepts, ideas, etc. Yeah. So the company basically says. Yo, could you please do us a favor and kind of like chill out a little bit? Or maybe we're going to take your name off of, you know, the poster, but we're still going to pay your ass and you're going to still write these movies and still create them. It's not like it was based off of her ideas. She wrote the fucking screenplay with the dude. She produced the movie herself. You can't can't get rid of that kind of creativity. That's it. J.K. said, on June 6, 2020, J.K. Rowling retweeted an op-ed piece that discussed people who menstruate. Apparently taking issue with the fact that the story did not use the word women. People who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wombin, Wimpin, <laughs> Wuman, she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> the initial tweet garnered a lot of backlash, but Roland did not relent and wrote about her views in more detail. If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. The idea that women like me who've been empathetic to trans people for decades, feeling kinship because they're vulnerable in the same way as women, i.e. the male violence, hate trans people because they think sex is real and has lived consequences, is nonsense. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and com- comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. They canceled her for that? She basically says, you're not a woman. She's like, women ha- are, are women in the traditional they sense of the blood. definition. And it's different. And we're not the same. And we have a different life experience. And that you are removing my life experience by saying uh, you that you are that. But shouldn't this be a conversation as opposed to like, Hey, you got to go? Yo, yo, when you're J.K. Rowling, you don't got to talk to nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo you don't got to talk to nobody, bro. And I'm going to be told, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Talk to me. I don't even know what the fuck she's talking about. Me neither. Yeah. I have no idea. I really so lost. you know what I'm going to do? I yeah, yeah. is the pronoun yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. am going to identify as minding my fucking business. <laughs> what, what a novel concept. Because right now... <laughs> What a novel concept. I have no identify opinion. as mining your fucking right, right now, you bro. identify as a crip. Say again? You I don't, don't identify as a crip. No, but you, right now, if somebody says something to you, they ain't going to say nothing to you. They're just going to jump on you. You think? That's what they did to her. I don't even know what the hell she even said. But why she would they jump wrong. on me? Because you identify as This something. bandana existed before the Bloods and the Crips. Like, they didn't invent bandanas. Well, that's why everybody identified. What, what he even said. It's appropriate. crip? Hey, bro. You think I'm cripping, bro? I you walk outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Identify <laughs> Why? as minding Listen. my fucking business. <laughs> but if somebody, not, no. I won't say this though. If somebody wrote up on you right now and said, "What set you claim?" I'm gonna say, "Wait, excuse me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew, take it off. J- Listen. Okay, we'll burn it. Hold on. No, hold no. On. Actually, we won't burn it. Hold we'll on. just take it off. Hold on now. There, hold there on. you go. Okay. What set you claim? Hold on. Hold on. I'll show you. There you go. I'll show you. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you fucking go. The United there States you of go. America. There baby. you go. There the you go. United By the way, States of America. America. Let me tell you what again? That right there. America always been great. Let me tell you something. That shirt right there, <laughs> harder than what you had on the other side. Yeah, and yeah, scarier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way scarier. You see a white man walking yeah. with that on? Yeah, yeah. yeah, You better leave that patriotic motherfucker yeah, alone. No, we're not going to turn the American flag in the back. <laughs> we are not going to do that. Everybody gets the American flag. This is my American flag, and I love my goddamn country, okay? That's right. I'm pissed yeah. off American, I, it's like baby. if I put that yeah. on. That's my flag, too. That's why people get mad at us when we wear it. Wear what? Wear what? Be, if I wear that flag, they'd be mad as hell. Nobody's ever said that you wear that flag. Santana wore that for 10 years. Come on, bro. What about now? What about the guy? Once the MAGA hat came out, if I put that MAGA hat on and that fucking jacket, 
Anybody yeah, they're upset at the <laughs> hat, not the jacket. <laughs> they fuck the jacket, what too. What the fuck? What's Hold going on, dude? You I can wear a flag? Dude, dude, yes. dude, dude. I can wear a flag, bro? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bro, uh, bro, bro, I say the N-word, <laughs> and I have an American flag, and people are all upset at me. Like, why are they all people upset? People mad at me because I had the flag, and I, I think the MAGA hat is doing the heavy lifting. <laughs> well, what is that doing? That's the sugar and the Kool-Aid. <laughs> nah, this shit, yes, this, right. This is that's sugar, sugar this is the Kool-Aid, this is the glass, this is the ice. Well, now that's the fucking Kool-Aid. This is the greatest flag in history. History, bro. You walk in any room with a MAGA hat on, they don't care what else you got on. Yeah. Your shirt can say, I love Jesus. All right, but what if I had that care. jacket on? Would you, no hat? I, I, right now, I think that's a MAGA jacket. You're crazy, the American bro. American flag? I'm a piece of shit. We, we, a lot of us think that. Nah, nah, you're Come crazy. On. Stop doing that to the American. Don't let these <laughs> fucking psychos <laughs> ruin the American flag, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Thought. Now I get it. Now I get how, like, like, you're annoyed when white people do cornrows and shit. Cause it's like <laughs> cause it's yeah, fucking up your dread. shit. They got dread. Exactly. So MAGA fucked up our shit. Like the American flag is our shit, and they just oh, fucking man. it up. We're not gonna let them do that. This is our shit, bro. Come on. Oh, let me take that cool. Like, they tell me take that um, fucking sugar out of there. What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> shit, you won't care about next week. Come on, Auntie. Auntie. It's Auntie. 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 <laughs> Auntie. Oh, now this is wild. What happened? Uh, Amir Khan robbed oh, and his yeah. wife ran and everybody gave his wife flack Come on, because yo. she ran. You're supposed to tell your wife to leave. Here's, it, 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 it's, here's the thing. I don't know if anybody in this room has ever had a gun put on them. No? <laughs> You're supposed to tell your wife you? to get the fuck out of there, no. yo. There's three I, I, things. It is. I know. There's Why three... you laughing, bro? There's only three... Yo, why's this guy laughing, bro? This guy's crazy. <laughs> There's only three things yeah, that's going to happen in this situation. Okay. What's he laughing about? Because you don't tell her to leave because they're going to shoot her ass. What no, they mean? not. If the dudes pull a gun on you, you won't be like, baby, you run. <laughs> yes. I don't think that's the best thing to do. It's Britain. They don't got guns. They came with a fucking bread or something no, like they, that. They, they got, they, they, I thought they, they had guns. They, 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 got, they had guns. Oh, they had guns? Yeah, they had guns. They, they had guns, man. Yeah, no, London. don't, they don't move. Come listen, on, bro. let's talk. Let's figure British this out. British guns, bro. bro. But yeah. Listen, they, they run. run. What type and of she British take guns? Run. She might run regardless. pulled up, they got to put the powder in the guns and all that shit. <laughs> 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 they got, they, they, Muskets? They, yeah, they came up with some muskets. Come on, all inaccurate ass. They roll up on you with that muskets. like, I already loaded it. I'm fine. I'll give you shit. Not to run forever. Somebody come in a mug, I just... But she that was her natural that. reaction. There's only three things that's gonna happen in those type of situations. Okay. Fight, flight, flight, or freeze. One of the three. Somebody pull a gun on you right now. Three things gonna happen. Fight, flight, oh, she or just freeze. left his ass there. <laughs> she got the fuck on. Nah. <laughs> <She got> the... <laughs> what, you mean? what y'all want her to do? Because he's gonna get killed. No, listen, if me and you together, right? If somebody pull a gun on one of us, said... if I run, he's gonna shoot the shit out of you. If you run, he's gonna shoot the shit out of me. Now, God, it don't count when it's two guys. No, got, even, even with the woman, it's if like, it's two, if it's two guys, no, if it's two guys and somebody pull a gun on us, if you run, I'm running. <laughs> if I run, you better run too. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with if you? If I see you run, he's gonna the shoot. The fuck? I gotta go. Hey, you know, this when, when they tell me Wax got shot, I'm like, why the fuck you ain't running? Run? <laughs> Please say he got shot in the back. Y'all are crazy. Please say he got shot in the back. You mean he stood there? No, Wax pulled out. What the fuck out. is he? Uh, your mind? Somebody pull a gun on you, fight, flight, or freeze. Oh, we got the video? I don't know oh, why. Fire, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If a dude's come up to you and pull a gun out of you and don't shoot, they don't wanna shoot. Chill out. They just want something. They just want, or they want to get your attention. If they come and they shooting, it's over. They, 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 they don't want to rob nothing. All right, so listen, if they shoot, hey, Miss Lady, slow down, because now you about to run. He think, oh, this bitch about to go tell somebody or mm. get me. Shoot her ass. Um, you know I'm saying? Everybody slow down. the other side, crippled. it was hot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what y'all expected this woman to do. Would you be mad at your wife if she I wouldn't ran? be mad, though. I mean, without me, we, we're not even going to have an eye contact or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, like, me eye contact. Like, I got to give you, like, a go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just be out. Like, I go like this to protect her, and she's already gone. Like, come on, now. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. no, they got to do it together. <laughs> you left me. Oh, get out of here. Hey, I'm not mad at her, man, because I know for a fact 
Everybody in here talking that shit. Talking about, that, that. I would have stayed. I would have did X, Y, and Z. You don't know what somebody would have Can we be honest, though? Can we be honest? Shit. She's seen her husband get knocked the fuck out so many times. <laughs> you know he's not going to be able to protect her ass. <laughs> you know how this is going yeah, down. Right. I don't get know. out of here, you baby. you got knocked out multiple times, <laughs> yeah. she cannot stay there for this shit. Right? I don't give a fuck if you Tyson Fury. That hammer come out, run it. Run. Adios, Tyson Fury. No, but I'm Greatest say, heavyweight ever. alive. I'm ever. telling you, I promise you. Might be. You'll pull a gun out on you, do not run. If he's going, he's going to come shoot you anyway. The fuck you going to do? You Yo, why are you bullet? shooting people, bro? Like, I, come you on with that shit. Bullet anyway. I'm with you. Listen, I, listen, I've had a gun pulled on me before. I froze. Like, I just, I, I was talking shit. Not me. I'm like, I didn't know what to do. I'm I did. Sitting, I was young as hell. I swear to God. Well, well, I'll tell you. I, told you I did. I talked shit. I, said he white I didn't know it was pulled on me, though. You never had no what are you talking about then? <laughs> so, I had it pulled on see, me. I just didn't know. Oh, he had it out like he went like this, and I didn't know. And I was talking all that shit. My boy saw. It, he was like, "Yo, let's get the fuck out of here!" And later that night, literally around that area, someone got shot. So what happened? Right, hold on, hold on. So you was talking shit, and what happened when your boy said, "Let's get the fuck right, out of here"? I was at I was at you know USC, the, the school. School. Yeah. So there. USC's kind of in the hood. Why right? you say it like that, bro? Because you know you're USC. You're from USC. Oh, you mean University of South yeah, Carolina? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I thought it was like UFC, but like a, a punk. No, 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 no. <laughs> like a, a what? Like a punk Uf, UFC. No. So I'm walking and I bump into somebody. They bump into me, whatever. And I'm just being some fucking douchebag New Yorker thinking all these dudes in Cali is soft. So <laughs> I'm at this soft ass private school and I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever. So I'm like, what's up then? He's like, what's up then, homie? And I'm like, I'm like, well, whatever, what you going to do about it? And I guess he pulls out the gun, but I don't notice because I'm just looking at the dude. And then my boy just grabs me. He pulls me and he goes, what the fuck is wrong? You see him pull out a gun. So he was like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. So I was like, that dude did not want to shoot. This dude was warning you, let you Man, know. Listen, I bro. didn't want to fight him either. Stop saying that. I get what Wax is saying, but I'm not sitting around waiting to see if a dude wants to shoot. That's another good you point. You pull a gun out, I'm, you're a threat. Bro, you can't run faster than the bullet. Where the fuck are you going? But I don't know. I'm not sitting around. I'm, I'm just talking about if somebody pull up on you. It's nothing you can do. Any move you do, you're getting shot. Hey, well, it's hard. I'm to not hit a moving target. There. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Say, what are they I'm always talking about? But dude, come up on now. If you see the dudes coming, of course, if you get up out of there, I'd rather take that. But if dude come roll up on you, if you roll up on me with a gun, that. I'm assuming you're gonna shoot. I'm not assuming you just want to rob me. No, no, I'm not assuming no. you want to check I, my prostate. You I'm gum, assuming you want to shoot me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm dude, leaning towards that. Yeah. Fire it up. No, no. If a dude come to you, he's going to come shoot you if he want to shoot you. If we a dude not, say, yo, and say anything to you, if he say anything to you, he I've heard this line of logic you. before, and, and, like, and, and I do understand it. And they roll up on you with the gun, and they be like, come with me this way. What they always say, don't go with that person. Don't go. Because you're making them comfortable. Right there. That's what he don't, because he don't want to kill you, especially right there where you at. I'm screaming like a bitch. They going to shoot you. Nope, because this is what I'm going to do. If you pro approach me this way, this is what people mess up at. And I've just never tried this, but just... Have if if somebody, <laughs> you don't get someone killed, bro. If somebody approaches me this way, right? Like, they're right in front of me with the gun. And they like... The mistake people make is they run backwards. I'm going to run past them. <laughs> I'm going to run past You can do a swim move? I'm going to run Bro, past them. where like, is this guy at? And who are you... <laughs> What the fuck? You know what I'm Them saying? Them Avengers got you fucked up. All these superhero shit. Yeah, it's right. Bro, what? don't do that shit. What do you I, think he's going to do? He's just going to go, I go damn. Him, I'm like, yo, no, relax. Let's see what the fuck is going on real quick. Damn, I didn't know you could do and that. This want to shoot us. I didn't know he could run past me like that. That's you crazy. Might. I might try to negotiate. Like what? You have, that's, that's all it's about. You, you willing know? to cough up anything? I hope it's green. I know it. What you gonna say? I hope it's green. What you gonna say? I hope it's green. What you gonna? It might be brown, bro. What you gonna or say? silver? <laughs> a penny is brown. <laughs> a quarter is silver. <laughs> and a dollar is green. That's it. <laughs> Different type of brown, bro. What you gonna? <laughs> what you gonna? What, what you gonna? Come you're gonna up. be like, give it up. You be like, shit. You just start unbuckling shit, your pants. Right. <laughs> you, you know what? what? <laughs> Give it up, it's going to be like this. <laughs> well, listen, that your might scare the fuck out what of you. What if you just start moaning? <laughs> what if he's like, he's like, yo, give it up. You're like, oh, stop. Uh, uh, yo, uh, chill. Uh, you know what? I'd be very yo, happy if y'all would be there. Yo, yo, chill. He's like, he's like, <laughs> give me your fucking money. Like, yo, stop talking dirty. Like, like, oh. Yo, great. So you know what? Y'all already got this all planned out. If this ever happened, hopefully y'all with me. Yo. But y'all already really I think, do I think, if you, I think acting crazy might save yo, you. Yo, it really yo. might. I really do. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm chill out. I'm a nut. I'm a chill out. Word is born. You keep robbing me. I'm nut right now. I said, if I really want to fuck somebody up and they get naked, 
I you, yeah, you. right. Act crazy. Exactly. I'm not touching you. Go you crazy, know. yo. You got to, yo, I'm going to pull it out if you shoot me. <laughs> Stand there, I can sing. Yo, pull, I, you, pull, you, yo. Might, you might get that off. Shoot me, I'm pulling I'm my dick out, right bro. now. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> you shoot me, I'm pulling my fucking whole you dick work. out, son. That might be the best right thing for you. Here. Right here, I'm pulling the whole oh, shit out man. right here if you shoot like, me. What you want? You want my dick? You want my dick <laughs> right now? <laughs> the motherfucker is And you gone. gotta like, nah, nah, I want your money. I'm gonna be like, you know what, nigga? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck you up. Yeah, you want my money, maker? Fuck you up. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? You know what to do with that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just want to All the shit they're talking about. Ready? All the shit they talking about. You know what to do right now. They know we might be gay. All right? <laughs> they you know, know I ain't gay. <laughs> 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 they they oh, know we God. don't give a fuck. They know that we love to play gay games. All right, I, I, I'm actually I about to create a, a don't game. play gay bill. I wasn't playing a gay game. I was just <laughs> man, going along game. with what I was fucking saying. When I was in hey, Orlando, I, don't play gay because it's too goddamn fun. Okay? <laughs> it is. That's not fun because y'all no, judging play, me yo, now. No, listen, playing gay is fun, it's yo. Mad fun, listen, bro. I saw when Charles Barkley said that shit on TNT. And they was dying, bro. They was dying laughing. That's just funny. We act like we don't like to play gay. No, no, y'all play. Y'all playing the gay. I don't think he was playing gay. He was just not knowing what the fuck to say. Who? <laughs> that's the funny part. Charles Barkley. Well, was just but that's talking. why. But that's the whole point of Charles playing gay. Charles knows what he's doing, bro. You don't think he knows what he's doing, man? When I was yeah. in Orlando last week, yeah, I was at my daughter's cheerleading competition, and I'm in line uh, getting some food, and man, <laughs> this dude came up to me. Old dude, him, his wife, his daughter. Like, oh, Charles, man, what's up? You know, you listen to the show, blah blah blah. <laughs> the old man said. You and that guy better stop playing gay now. Okay, you and that guy like to play gay. Y'all going to meet somebody that's not playing. You ready for that? There's <laughs> <laughs> a margin I, on them cheeks. I laughed so hard. <laughs> Yo, did you hear what he did? He put some margin on them cheeks. That's what they did. Gay guy that shit was wild gay. You just thought of that with your brain. Son, you thought of that shit with your I'm own brain, saying, son. Fucking no, gay. no, no. That's what gay guys do, do. No, you thought of that yourself. Call, you get creative uh, with your own brain, bro. Oh, oh man. Because they call it. Nah, bro. bro. No, no. Cheeks. No. And guys got buns. They call guys buns in the no, girls. No, Let's go. Keep no, no. You I like thought this. that just And you kept it low calories, bro. Low calories. <laughs> margarine. You said margarine. <laughs> you didn't even say butter. <laughs> he kept it vegan. <laughs> 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 a margin vegan? Yeah. You're going to make your own I brand. Can't baby. believe it's not. But listen, um, <laughs> you're crazy. The son. baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what happened. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yo, the baby. Don't even rile this up. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. Why did Rolling Stone do that this week? Do what? Put out that story about the baby. Like, why did they re release? Corny. That shit was misleading, too. Very misleading, man. Yeah. It, it, here's my thing. This is just a simple common sense question. It happened in Walmart. The tragic incident happened yeah. in Walmart. You know, sending healing energy to the family. Yes. Right? It happened in Walmart. Yeah. Do you think that there is any video they could possibly release that law enforcement hasn't seen? Yeah, that's so, why it's so stupid. From like, Walmart? Come on, yeah. Come on. So it's like you're using the same video they got acquitted for. That, that caused them to be acquitted, exonerated, whatever it was. You're using that same video to retry him in the court of public opinion. That's all it is. Like I don't, I, he can't I'm, get retried in the court. I'm and listen. I just I want to know what's the why. What was the why of that? Yeah. Like I didn't understand the why. Like it's, it just it just it just, just clicks. They'll say anything for fucking clicks. Rolling Stone yeah. got in a lot of trouble for that shit. It just came out on a what did they do? Remember with the Duke lacrosse team thing? They made up that whole story. <laughs> I don't remember. The Duke lacrosse team, they they said that they raped that girl. <laughs> that was Rolling it, Stone? Yeah, wasn't it? I don't remember. Yeah. I think they had a few of them like that. Like, all these publications, now that it's drying up, they just got to get more salacious. Like what we were saying before, it's not just yeah. people, it's publications yeah. too. It's, it's just dangerous. It and it's just like, yo, why? Like, you know, you, the family's already had to go through that. Yup. You know what I'm saying? The baby's yes. already had to go yes. through that. Like, what, I just want to know what was the reason? Like, what are, what are they trying to, to prove? I think they were trying to say that the, the baby was the aggressor. Aggressor, but he, it look first of all, we don't even know what happened before then. But like, if you watch the video, it looks as if he begins the argument with another man. That exactly. man is not the one that shot. Yes, and correct me if I'm wrong. The guy who got shot, it was his gun that he got the shot guy, with. No, 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 no. Oh, baby had his own gun. The guy who got shot pulled out. They a said gun. he brandished the gun, and they and I think in the Rolling Stone article, they was like, it's unsure whether he put it back or whatever. But it's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
who got time to think about all that? Yeah, you're right. in that situation. I, yeah, well, it's I, like I, I, know what you're doing. I don't know if you're familiar with like the American justice system, but they're not really in you know the business of letting black guys off for killing people. Oh no! no. So it's like if if not. if especially they, in North Carolina, right though? Yeah. And look so, like that. Come on. There must have been enough evidence. They came quick. Clearly, it was, yeah. but and that's my point. It's just like. Once again, there's no video that Walmart had that law enforcement did not see. Mm. So whether we all saw that video before or not, the law enforcement saw that video. Yeah. Mm. Everybody that was supposed to look at that tape looked at that tape. That's why the baby got exonerated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, it's like, why? Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean? Like, why? If, if the family had put it out and the family was saying, man, we want people to look at this or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can understand that a little bit more. Maybe that's why they did it. I don't, did they do it at the family's request? I don't know. I just don't understand why you're trying to retry somebody in the court of public opinion. And that shit is so scary as a, as a black man in this country because it's just like, when the fuck are we ever mm -hmm. not guilty? Mm -hmm. yeah. When are we ever innocent of anything? And you're it, piggybacking. And really, when you think about and it, you're like, oh, wow, he's going through this tough time where he's looking like this incredibly dangerous individual because he's swinging on people and shooting people that are trespassing in his house and you're just piggybacking on him based on like, yep, he is the bad guy you think he is. This fuck, he should be able to sue him for slander, bro. Yeah. yeah they didn't even give any context to it or they nothing. No, it just came out on a Sunday. Like, yeah. I'm like, what? No. And by the way, I mean, listen, does the baby need anger management? Yes. Yes. Mm. If you ask. He's handling his business. I mean, yeah. This guy really likes to get down. Yeah. <laughs> this guy loves to fight. Yeah. Yes. Well, people fucking with him. Say that and by the way, we yeah, we don't know. Like, I don't know why he does. Like, when we, even when we see him swing on his artist, so I don't know why he did that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know why. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Look how many people used to say I used to always like to fight. I don't like to do that shit. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I don't you, like you, to fight. Wax, you love fighting. Wax, bro. you went to anger management, Wax. I don't yeah. know why they put me there. Oh, really? You don't know why they put you there? I just did things that people was fucking with me and I handled it. That's not true. Don't listen to me. I ain't never do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve nothing. And listen, oh. I can never tell somebody how to react. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look how many people I saved. I put doo doo on people. <laughs> <laughs> Amber heard them. Yo, real talk. You dude, started yo. that. You did. But that's what I'm saying. For her to just put on the bed to be seen as corny. Put it in the, cut it hole in the bottom of the bed. Put it in there. He'll never find it. Smell shit for weeks. But she got to stay in the bed too. <laughs> the stair bed. <laughs> that's, wild that. that's wild as shit. That's wild as shit on your mean? bed. Bro. You're not putting shit in your own pea coat wax. Listen, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor, and get the fuck up out of here. You got some asking idiots, Auntie? Auntie. Why you always want to fight people? That's oh, Auntie God. ass thing to do. <laughs> Aunties throw down, bro. Aunties love to fight. Aunties can man. throw down, man. They so get that brown lick in them. Oof. Lord have mercy. Need that Henny alone. That's man. right. Lydia fuck shit up. That's right. What we got? Salute to Tyson Fury, man. Yo, I, Best I mean, heavyweight in the world right now. I don't know who could beat him in history. I'll be honest with you. 6'9", the movement, the hand speed, the power. Yeah, your problem. I mean, Ali the cardio. Ali one. Yeah, I mean. And I still got Ali as the best. It's hard to go against him, right? I mean, it's just, it's just hard. But, like. They look the same. And imagine seven more inches, bro. Yo, son. Yo, son. This guy imagine. wild, bro. <laughs> yo, this guy. Imagine. Yo, 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 wax. <laughs> Bust out the margarine. <laughs> <laughs> they doing a band next door? What you mean, what is that? That's when somebody comes with seven more inches. Motherfucker <laughs> starts screaming. Listen. <laughs> okay, let's go. What do we got? All right. Ermas.p says, what's the most important academic or life lesson that you learned in high school? Hmm, interesting. How to get by in life? Explain. Um, they pushed me through schools, so and I didn't have to learn that way. I had to actually learn life skills. So I had to learn how to get by, how not Be to resourceful. learn how to read. Yeah. yeah. I had to learn how to read, but do everything it took me not to read. Like, I could walk, I, I, to my, like, be on Linden Street. And I'd be like, oh, the CVS on the corner. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn a different way. So it taught me how to actually live life instead of living. Because you didn't know how to read? Um, if I see, only reason why I know that I say brilliant idiots is because I say brilliant idiots. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can read, <laughs> but. The only reason I know that I brilliant idiots because it's brilliant idiots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you said I'm saying, because I, I know the way it looks. But if you ask me to spell it, I probably can't spell it. But I can read all of it. But I, you tell me to spell it. 
I can't probably spell. So you're not good at spelling. Yeah, you phony. No, no, I read Yo, it, but I got to read it so Taylor, many times. Taylor just called his ass out. No, How'd you this, read the Bible so, then, bro? I, do, I, I can read it. He got Psalm 91. What's no, that no, one? no, I know all of them. I know a lot of them. Psalm 91, 27, 35, and 51 is, is a, that's Let's a, hear a, a code. Spell it. P-S-A-L-L? No, I mean, like, I meant, like, say the scripture. You want me to spell the scripture? No, man, I want you to tell us what the, tell us what the scripture is. Which one? 91? Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in a secret place in the most high shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare and thy flower and from the noisome pestilence. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. His truth should be thy, chill, thy, thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the owls that flee by day, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that waits for the noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes should I be holding the seed of the water of the wicked, because they have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high habitation. Neither should any plague come nigh thee dwelling, for it shall give his angels charge to keep thee in all our ways. Um, That's how you know he was a bad little kid. Yeah. That's what he used to have Psalm to repeat 91. over and over. No, no, no. I, I actually, the Bible's I fire, actually bro. Got, um, I actually recited that when I was going through one of my heavy charges. Mm. Uh, that was my only weapon. I had to bring a weapon to uh, court with me. When you said I prayed, I was actually reciting Psalms no, 91. That I was my weapon. You prayed. I said you did that. I was did, singing. You, you said I was amazing singing. Grace. I didn't do Amazing Grace. I was reciting Psalms 91. And you sang Amazing Grace at the end. Bought the core of the tears, yo. It was, it was just back in the day when they had phones, yo. Oh, sweet. sweet. No, I, I was really reciting Psalm 91. That is a, a weapon that I always bring with me, so I got to have that. When the cops pulled me over, even when, you know, don't y'all know the, um, the, the COs bailed me out of jail in Georgia? Really? Yeah, because when I got locked up, I was dirty as hell, too. And they came in, they was like, oh, you wax. They was listening to the show and everything uh, behind the thing. And they came and got this. It was like, yo, they're going to do you dirty. I was like, I can only get a certain amount of bread out. You remember he's calling? I remember. Yeah, and it was like, yo, they gonna do you dirty. You need to get up out of here. So I only I could take a certain amount out. Next thing I know, cars was coming up on the thing. Go to the ATM, get that money out. Get me the fuck out of there. Get out of here. Yeah, God bless him, man. Psalm ninety one. So he make ways out of no way. And you were and what happened? You got pulled over with something in the car? Yeah, I, I was uh bouncing the suspended license in Georgia. Oh, at the wrong time of the year. Right around the time when old boy got um, killed out there. I forgot what town it was. But everybody was like, are you a black man out here? Uh -uh. But as soon as they told me, oh, your license suspended, I went out the car and put my hands behind You ain't have to tell me to put my hands behind my back. Just don't look in the car. Damn. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Once you got me in handcuffs, then we know you ain't got to worry about nothing. So black men, just tell you, listen, put the handcuffs on me right away. As soon as soon Once I know you got the handcuffs on me, I'm safe. That ain't necessarily true either, man. Think about all the people that they beat up with handcuffs on, shot I with handcuffs beat up on. Then, I beat me up with handcuffs on. Then I know what find when, what's in the when car. When I don't, you can't say nothing. They still going to search the car. No, they didn't. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Psalms 91. But that was good problem solving in the moment. You're like, That's how what do you I? Do. Once they know they got me, like whatever they want to do with me, yeah. get me in that car. Don't worry about fucking searching the car or nothing. Let's get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. What was the lesson you learned from that, though? Keep praying and keep using Psalms 91 as my weapon. How about not do illegal things? <laughs> <laughs> not do illegal things. This guy, man. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? You know what I'm saying? This yeah. guy is so crazy. <laughs> oh, um, scroll down, Taylor. I saw another one I wanted to get to. Scroll down. Scroll down, auntie. Oh, this is a good one. We just talked about this. It's a little slow at the L. Havlek yeah. says, fight or flight, does it depend on the situation or is it all or nothing? I think it depends on the situation. I do too. Yeah, it's like fight if you if well, someone you can beat up. Yeah, it's I think flight if it's right. someone you can't. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Straight up. <laughs> right. Like if I see if I see a uh, if I see a, I fight a dog, but if I see like a lion, I'm getting the fuck out of here. If I see yeah. a dude with a gun, it'd it be an old lady with a gun coming at me like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, I'm running. Nobody really <laughs> wants to fight. No, I really don't want to fight. Yeah, I'm fighting I'm overrated, fight. man. When you're younger, I think maybe it's a little bit more exciting. Now you want to try yourself. You want to see if you actually can yeah. do it. Everybody want to see if you can do it. I've had enough fights in my life and won enough to know that I, I, I can actually do this. Yeah. I don't give a fuck to do it. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to fight. If I can run, yeah. I am running. Yeah. Okay? 
And I do think it depends on the situation. If you, you can have to run to save your situation. life, run to save your yes. goddamn life. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going towards nothing. I don't care if I can beat you. I'm not going towards nothing mm. at all. Scroll down, Taylor. Let's see what else we got. Let's do one more. One more. Ask an idiot. Which one of the members? <laughs> which one of the members from the idiot crew can be trusted with the Infinity Gauntlet? What is that? Great fucking question. Infinity Gauntlet is what Thanos used to snap away half of the Earth. Yeah. Which one of us can be trusted? None of us. What are you talking? About? Honestly, it's Me? no, definitely not you. Why not? Because I'm you're too. It. No, you're too angry in the moment. Taylor, no fucking way. No. Yo, fucking you know way. who could be trusted? Chris Moreau. No. He gonna snap away his limes and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> but, but you gotta tell me what this yeah, thing is the about. Thing he goes to half away. <laughs> no, he's gonna what, be what good. It's like good food or something. No, <laughs> what? I I'm, think Chris Moreau could be trusted with it, bro. Nah, I but don't, what do it do? Why would he do? Because it be, too, it be too, Chris would be too nuanced and niche. He's not gonna think about everything. Like what? Chris would be like. I want to stop Asian hate. <laughs> you know oh. what I'm it's a, you know what I mean? Oh. It, it, it got to be oh. broader. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. we got to protect gonna give all. give no reparations. You can't do it. Because we call you auntie, you just snap our legs off or something. Yeah, you, yeah, you definitely can't do it. Oh, there's yeah. a voodoo doll. Yeah. No, it's, it's not a voodoo doll. You want it's a snap, be. make things fade away. Come on, I got y'all. Nah, 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 nah. nah You're nah. too angry. Taylor can't I'm do too it. angry? Taylor too much of a hater. Chloe Bailey will disappear for no damn reason. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, she ain't gonna let her sing. Exactly, exactly. Keep her. Exactly. She keep her. She can't sing no more. You'd be like, what the fuck? You'd be like, what happened to all these beautiful women? Yo, Instagram. you know what happened to Ariel and fucking uh, The Little Mermaid? <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> That's Taylor. Why do you think I'm just a hater when you be talking mad shit about me? You said what? You talk mad shit about me, but I'm not. I, I think I think y'all give it to me. I'll make sure like weed is legal. You know what I'm saying? Weed is damn near legal. Yeah, that's solved. I, that's what I, th <laughs> I, I, I think I, c I could be good with it, but I probably would abuse it depending on the moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I have those moments where I get emotion. I'm like, you know what? All right, watch this. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, damn, yeah. I wish I could bring them back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you can, though. I can. Yeah, yeah. That'd be some dangerous shit to have, though. I'll bet you motherfuckers will act right. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to bring them back to life. Every time they get on your nerve, you just mm, dust. Every but time you, my, my, my wife asks me if I'm done taking what? this shit. <laughs> you, know you can't get rid of her, but can you bring her back? No, I'm not going to get rid of her, but I'm going to do something where she can't ask me if I'm if I'm done, I'm out the toilet. <laughs> All right, so listen. <laughs> the fuck you ask me so if I'm you done women you know talk I'm not anymore? done. If you had it, would you let women talk anymore? Yes. Like, It'd be only not women talking. Just, just in the house. I want women to talk, but just not in the house. No, I, what I would do is whatever is right? whatever wrong. my wife is saying to me, I would have it echo back to her. It's Alex, the, help me. It's the women you choose. <laughs> if you don't like talking to the women that you around, it's on that's you. On no, you no, bro. No, that's not true. It's I'm just on saying. you. Yes. I just hear a lot of guys say yes. to the wife talk a lot. That's it. They don't snap the way half your pants, bro. <laughs> Tim shit was fucking full car. We always went to a show without my pants. Tim shit is capris right now, bro. <laughs> like, you thought this uh, episode was brilliant. <laughs> hey, man. If you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Thanks.